Yo, what's good everybody? It's CP the Doc, and it's time for a nice chill stream today where we are gonna get Diamond, Bill, Russell. The last piece of the puzzle is Ruby Mark Price. We have every other player that we need. All we need to do is win this last set of challenges, which are right over here. And Bill Russell's gonna be in our collection, so... Without any further ado, let's get right to it. Once this stream ends, I'm pretty sure the NBA Finals game is going to be starting, like, literally right after I finish, so... Let's go ahead and jump into it, man. No need to beat around the bush. Let's just jump into it. I'm going to use my normal lineup, too, just so I don't have to take the time to switch up lineups. What's good, Maria? What's up, Nico? Dom? Puff? Walking Dub? Parallel? Codeine, Adam H, Versal, and Troya Holic. Hope everyone's having a good night tonight, or a good evening. Hope everyone's ready for an awesome stream. It's not going to be as long as usual, but it's going to be a good one. Like I said to you guys earlier, I want to get these games done as quick as I can because... Game four of the finals is tonight, so gotta get this done fast. What's up, Trash Plan? What's up, Alfredo and Desiree? Welcome to the stream, everybody. Drop a like for me if you haven't already. Say something to me in the chat if you haven't already. So it's gonna be a fun stream today. It's not gonna be as long as usual, but it's gonna be pretty fun, so let's get right to it. Let's get the win versus the Thunder with KD. And KD's on our team, so it works pretty well. Tom said, go back to class. Yeah, Walking Dub, I appreciate you stopping by, even though you're in class. You see the next gen gameplay? It didn't really blow me away, but I will say, it did look a lot better than this. It did look a lot better than this. Now, next gen's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm ready for it already. I've already pre-ordered my console and everything. I already have 2K pre-ordered. Yeah, I'm ready for next gen already. Y'all already know that. What's good, C4 Jamari? Welcome to the stream. Puff says no class tomorrow. Yeah, Puff, I got three classes tomorrow. Tomorrow is my tough day during the week. So, yeah. Shout out to you for having no class tomorrow, but I have my busiest day of the week tomorrow, so that's not very fun. What's good, Josh Smoove? Welcome to the stream. C4 Jamari says I got fall break in two days. Yeah, at UAB, we don't have fall break, so that's also good for you. That's another thing I wish we had, fall break, but no fall break. Sadly, no fall break. We do get a full week of Thanksgiving break, though. And that's something that a lot of universities actually don't get. A full week of Thanksgiving break. Most schools and most friends who go to those schools that I know, they get like, I think, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of Thanksgiving week, and then they go back to school. So, it's kind of cool that we get an entire week, but... Yeah, no fall break. What's up, Michael? Welcome to the stream. Dom says, are you just doing the five games this stream? Yes, because after this stream, game four of the finals is starting. And as a basketball purist, you guys know, I don't like to miss games. So once this stream's over, we are going to watch the finals. Well, I'm going to watch the finals. I know a lot of you guys are going to be watching too. I'm just saying I'm going to be watching the finals after this stream's over. And this stream's not going to be super long either. Like you asked, Dom, this is going to be just the five games, and you never know. I might lose a game or something. I might get an error code like I did last week. You really never know. You really never know. So, hopefully I get through these games nice and quick. Hopefully I don't have too many problems. I'm really not worried about losing, so I'm kind of just chilling and playing the game. Y'all know I'm really not worried about it. 
Tom said I'm praying for the Heat win. Yeah, you're not the only one. You are not the only one. What's good, George Pig? Welcome to the stream. What's good, George Pig? Puff said my dream colleges are USC, Coastal Carolina, and Vanderbilt. Those are some good schools, too. Those are some good schools, too. When I was a senior, I applied to a few schools out of state. I made it into the U of Miami. I made it into UNC, Chapel Hill, and I applied for Vandy. I made it in, but I didn't get a scholarship. Vandy's one of those schools that's expensive, man. And I got a full scholarship to UAB, so I took that one. We got 16 people in here, though, and only 13 likes on the stream. You guys drop a like on the stream for me if you haven't already. Y'all know those likes help the stream get out there, so drop a like for me if you haven't already. Let's get this stream going. I love the energy of the stream already. I love the vibe. But then again, I always love the vibe of the streams. So I hope everyone's doing all right. I'm not sure if everybody was expecting me to stream today, but either way, we're live, and this is going to be a good one today, man. This is going to be a good one. I hate the weird jumper animation when you get close to the basket, like take a layup. I mean, let's be honest, though. Usually, that animation goes in. Then again, that probably doesn't really matter to you, but a lot of the times, that animation goes in anyway. I don't like it either, though. I don't like it either. But if I shoot it and I know I might get blocked on a layup, I'm okay with that animation because I know it kind of bails you out. But nah, yeah, I don't know why they just don't shoot normal layups. I have no idea. Walking Dove says, we are reading an article about cognitive stuff and neuroscience. Nothing makes sense. After taking my neuroscience classes at UAB, that stuff sadly makes sense to me. Even though I don't want to study it ever again. That stuff sadly makes sense. That's pretty cool though, Walking Dub. In a few years, you might just be able to understand it, because that is some pretty complex stuff. Even for college students, that's some pretty complex stuff. Dom says I'll be here the entire stream. That's always, that's just music to my ears, man. So your hours are gonna go up, you're gonna be in here pretty much the whole time. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So I do have a question for everybody in here. So I was up all night last night, and I was editing together a video. But by the time the stream's over, if I post the video, it might be a little bit late. So should I hold off and post it tomorrow? Or should I go ahead and post it today? Because it's a very good video. But it might be a little bit late at night. I really don't know. And the finals are starting pretty much right after the stream. So I really don't know. I really don't know. I think I might hold off until tomorrow afternoon. I might post double videos tomorrow. I might even stream tomorrow. I really don't know. Tomorrow's a super busy day at school for me. So I might not be able to stream at night. But I do know that I'm going to do something tomorrow. Whether it's stream or post a video or what, I know I'm going to be posting tomorrow for you guys. Troy Hawk says save it for tomorrow. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Puff says I want to study journalism. No, journalism's pretty cool. Journalism's pretty dope, man. I've taken some classes, I was pretty good at them because I just enjoy writing, and yeah, my professor was super chill too. What's good, Ryan Moody? Welcome to the stream. You just bought an Xbox Elite Control. Those controllers are nice. That is a very good investment. Also, welcome to the stream, Too Easy Tim. Too Easy Tim, Ryan Moody. Got 20 people in the stream already. Hope everyone's having a good day so far. Or a good night, depending on where you're watching the stream from. Either way, I hope you're chilling. Hope you're ready for a good stream. Like you guys see in the title, these are my final five games for Bill Russell. I would have streamed earlier, but I wanted you guys to be able to catch it. I know a lot of you guys have school. So, that's why I decided to hold off earlier and go ahead and, you know, stream it later. 
What's good, Wavy Hoops? Welcome to the stream. What's good, Wavy Hoops? What's good, Stormy? Hope everyone's having a good day today. Everyone drop a like on the stream for me. Let's get to 20. We have over 20 people in here. It would be awesome if we can get those 20 likes. That would be amazing. I would love that. Versal says, would you ever think of streaming on Twitch? I mean, that's, I answered this question last week. I have a Twitch account set up just in case anything happens to YouTube, but I've been enjoying YouTube so far, especially lately. The channel's been growing very well. We've been getting a lot of views, getting a lot of subscribers. I really can't complain about my growth on YouTube. And you guys have been very generous donating money. Also, I've been making some good money from ad revenue and stuff. I've been... It's been good, man. YouTube's been good to me, so... We're gonna keep it up for now. What's up, Anthony Naranjo? Welcome to the stream. Got 23 people in here early. I can't complain about that. I know some of you guys in the chat said y'all are still in school. So, how many of you guys are still in school right now? I wonder if Walking Dub is the only one. Either way, no matter whether you're watching the stream in school or out of school, I hope y'all are chilling, hope y'all are doing alright. Yeah, it's been a good day today for me, I hope it's been a good day for y'all too. Walking Dub says, what are your thoughts on the trailer? It was pretty good. It was a solid trailer. I mean, I wouldn't say it blew me away, but it did look very, very good. It did look very, very good. But it didn't wow me, you know? It didn't blow me away. What's good, Spur Good Marshall? Welcome to the stream. What's good, Jose RTG? And trust the process. Hope everyone's doing all right. Spur Good Marshall, I think I saw you comment on my last video. So welcome to the stream. I think this is my first time ever seeing you in a stream, so welcome. They're double teaming so hard. Anthony says, I just got done with school. Nice, nice. Walking Dub's still in school, free in 15 minutes. Yeah, I was wondering how many of you guys are still in school, but it looks like the only one who's still in school is Walking Dub, so good for everybody except Walking Dub. Also, what's up, Amari? Welcome back, Amari. What's up, 2K Noob? Welcome to the stream. If it's sports and a dope vibe, I'm there for it. I appreciate that, Spur Good. I appreciate that. Yeah, right now we're just chilling, playing my team, going for that Diamond Bill Russell. And yeah, I stream like this as often as I can. I like to do it during the week, pretty much whenever I'm not in school. So welcome to the stream. Like I said, this is my first time ever seeing you in here. So got to give you a nice warm welcome. Uh, Anthony, I'm going to get the PlayStation 5 eventually, but since I'm on the Xbox right now, well, I'm just going to, you know, get the Series X first. What's up, Amir? Welcome to the stream, Amir. Hope you're doing all right, man. Let's get the bench in there, man. The starters have been playing a lot. The 2K noob says sub to Doc. That would be great. That would be great. We hit 3.77 thousand subs yesterday. We hit 3.76 thousand the day before. We're getting pretty close to 3.8. So... Let's see if we can keep the channel growing, maybe gain a few subs today. That would be pretty cool, but it's not the top priority. The biggest priority right now is getting that Bill Russell, so let's make sure we get that done. Codeine says, I wish Nightbot tracked watch hours. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You can't lurk and get hours, which it kind of sucks, but... I mean, I'd say that the hours system and the point system, I'd say they're pretty good indications of, you know, your attendance. What's up, Adrian Gonzalez? Welcome to the stream. We got almost 30 people in here at the beginning of the stream. Hope everyone's doing alright. Hope everyone's chilling. 
Y'all talk to me in the chat if you haven't already. Also, drop a like for me if you haven't already. I mean, 28 people in here already is great. It's only been, what, 15 minutes? I can't complain about that. Stream's off to a good start. Game's off to a good start. Let's keep it up. Kristen said, should I sell my whole collection and go for collector level? I mean, collector level is important, but there's going to be a lot more cards that come out in the future. I think it's like 2,000 cards for Lillard, 4,000 for Tatum. I mean, there aren't even 4,000, excuse me, there aren't even 4,000 cards in the game yet. So, if I were you, just wait, more cards will come out eventually, and now nah, don't sell your collection yet. It's the beginning of the year. Don't sell your collection yet. What's good, Carmine Plays? What's good, Hector? Welcome to the stream, y'all. Hope y'all are doing alright today. Stormy says, how do you get Bill Russell? You gotta win every single spotlight challenge. Every single spotlight challenge in the game right now. There should be five sets of challenges. And for every challenge or set of challenges you complete, you get one player. And once you collect all five players, you get that Bill Russell. And we are only five wins away from that Bill Russell. So, yeah, we're looking pretty good. I can't complain. I'd say we're looking pretty nice. So, yeah. I know that Wavy Hoops earlier said he has Bill Russell already. So, I'm assuming that some of you other guys in here have Bill Russell too. So, I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but... I just thought that streaming it would be a good idea. Just to give you guys something to watch. Is this your full-time job? I'm in school. What console did you first start off playing growing up? If I'm not mistaken, if my memory serves me right, my first console was a PlayStation 2. My uncle got it for me. And eventually I got a Game Boy after that, and yeah, first one ever was a PlayStation 2, believe it or not. But then eventually I went from the PlayStation 2 to the Xbox 360, Xbox 360 to the Xbox One, and Xbox One to the Series X. But I'm also going to be getting a PlayStation, you guys know that, because those console exclusives look way too good for me not to get, you know? Those console exclusives look way too good. Wonder if 2K is going to do what MLB The Show does for seasons, make the first one long, and the rest of the seasons half as long. Yeah, trust the process, I guess we're going to have to find out. I mean, if I had to guess, you would guess that every season's the same length, but you never know because there's only been one season, so we're going to have to find out. We're going to have to see. Why are they double teaming and why can't I pass? They're going hard this game. How come you went from PlayStation 2 to Xbox 360? Because I wanted an Xbox 360 and my mom bought it for me when I was in 5th grade. So, that's how come I went from the PlayStation to the Xbox. You can play all the PlayStation 4 exclusives for free on the PlayStation 5. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Nice backdoor cut. We're not shooting many free throws. And the goal in this challenge is to shoot free throws. So that's why I'm driving to the rim so much and taking low percentage shots. Because I'm trying to draw fouls like on that possession, but I'm not getting many foul calls in this game. It's not a big deal though. What's good, money maker? Welcome to the stream. I'm stuck on game three. Oh gosh. So what's what are the requirements for game two and game three, money maker? Because this is actually the first game of the stream. I haven't lost a game of these challenges before. Like any of the first four challenges. And once this stream's over, I'm trying to immediately watch the NBA Finals. So, I hope game three is not that tough. If I get stuck on game three, I might have to end the stream early because I don't want to miss this game four. Either way, welcome to the stream, Money Maker. Welcome to the stream, Tyler Lung. Larry Young. Welcome to the stream, both of you guys. Hope y'all are doing okay today. Everybody joining the stream, make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. 
yeah we're at 25 right now with 25 people in here yeah I can't complain about that those are pretty good numbers those are solid stats Moneymaker says 63 points in game three and two steals for game two got you got you okay and in game one you just have to shoot hundred percent from the free throw line so I mean we're shooting hundred percent right now with Darren Williams but we've only taken one free throw so I'm trying to get more free throws but I guess I could try and shoot free throws with other guys like Kevin Durant there we go perfect Flash JD says here's my mod account there's your moderator account congratulations on moderator by the way the curry in the next gen trailer was so realistic yes he was realistic but I think clay looked a little bit more realistic just saying and spur good that is Artis Artis Gilmore he's probably the best center on my team well he may not be the best center but he is my favorite Artis Everybody in the chat loves Artis. Is the collector level Damian Lillard a Galaxy Opal? I really don't know. I feel like he is. But, like, I'm seriously not sure. If he's not Galaxy Opal, he's definitely Dark Matter. There's no way that Damian Lillard's a pink diamond. That would be... That would be disappointing. If you collect all those cards and grind out all these collections, spend your money on the game, and... Yeah. The Lillard ends up being a pink diamond. That would be, that would be, that would be a huge scam. That would be robbery right there. So it better not be that way because that would be terrible. That's a sweet fro. Yes, it is for good. Yes, it is. People say Dirk sucks, but that card is auto green year in and year out. People say that Dirk sucks, but it's usually just because he's kind of slow. I mean, being slow, it doesn't really help you out in my team, but he does have a money jump shot, you're right. What's good, Odd Squad? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, Odd Squad. Hope you're doing alright, man. Dame's an Opal. I feel like I've heard he's an Opal, but like I said, I wasn't 100% sure. So I didn't want to say he's an Opal for sure, and then he's not an Opal, you know? Codeine says Tatum's Dark Matter. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. JD says I'm pissed I can't play. My PS4 account got banned for a week. What did you do to get banned for a week? Just curious. What happened? Walking Dub says Dirk is trash. He only has shooting badges, zero defensive. Yeah, Dirk's usually a little bit of a defensive liability. Maybe a little bit of a liability on defense. Offensively, though, he is a stud. I mean, the shooting badges speak for themselves. Bill Russell is kind of the opposite. I'm not sure if you guys looked on the My Team database or anything or did research, but this new Bill Russell has, like, I want to say he has pretty much every single defensive badge, but then he has no shooting badges. He does have some finishing badges, but, yeah. Other than the finishing and the defense badges I literally don't think he has anything so that's kind of tough that is kind of tough Carmelo left the Celtics that's too bad he had a good run with the Celtics in your my league that's too bad but he had a good run Zion came in for Dirk and he was a green machine yeah, all the Zion cards at the end of last year, solid. Of course, there was the NBA is back, and then there was the collection reward for next. What's good, Brett? I just pulled Bob Lanier. So I tried to get Bob Lanier earlier today, but once again, I choked on the Ascension. But I did get super lucky. I got super lucky, and I got two amethyst lebron james out of amethyst player packs i sold them both for about a hundred thousand combined mt and yeah i mean i really wanted bob lanier but i already have two pink diamond centers 
so I can't complain too much, but I did really want that. I really did want that Bob Lanier. What's up, Armin? Welcome to the stream. Brett said, I literally had five picks. Yeah, I had like 20. So, no offense to you, because I'm very glad you got Bob Lanier. That is very good for you. But, Brett, you are lucky for that, man. Because I really wanted that Bob Lanier, and I don't think I'm ever going to get him. Which is very sad, but my team is pretty solid, so I'm not going to cry about it. I'm not going to complain. Welcome to the stream, though, Brett. I'm not sure if I've ever seen you in here before, so... Welcome to the stream. Feel free to hang around as we go for this Bill Russell. Game one's almost in the books. It's been a long one. These five-minute quarters games, they... They really drag on, man. They get kind of old kind of fast. I'm not gonna lie. What's good, Zach Ward? Welcome to the stream. Everybody joining the stream, Armin, Zach, everybody, make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already, so the stream gets out there a little bit. Maybe some new people join the stream, maybe the channel grows a little bit today. You never know. No matter what, we're just going to keep on grinding, going to keep on playing through these games, and we're going to end this stream, hopefully, with Diamond Bill Russell. What's good, Elliot? Who's going to win today? I think the Heat, I think the Heat... Even though they're coming off a great game three, I don't think they're able to keep it up for two straight games. I think the Lakers bounce back, especially Anthony Davis and LeBron. Yeah, his stats weren't terrible, but he did have those eight turnovers. So I do think the Lakers bounce back today. I think the Lakers bounce back. I got banned once before because this Pro 2 is talking trash and... So, okay, you got reported for language. I really hate when people report you for language, but they do something to incite your language, you know? Like, they say something to make you say something, and then they report you. It's weird when people do that, because in the past, someone has called me, like, trash or something, or people have called me, like, sweat or something. Or they've said something like that. Or insulted me or something. And I'll just say something lighthearted in return. And then they'll report me. So it happens, man. It happens to the best of us. What's good? Not your average clown. Once this game's over, we only have four games left. The stream pretty much just started. So welcome to the stream. Not your average clown. Feel free to hang around until we get the Bill Russell at the end of the stream. Also, what's up? Tyler Renfro at work. But I had to step in and say what's up. I appreciate it, Tyler. Welcome to the stream, even though you can't stay for long. Welcome. Ryan says Xbox is, is terrible for enforcement. It kind of is. It kind of is. You can get, like, not banned, but you can get your account suspended. Not suspended. What's the word? Can't remember what the word is. But yes, I know exactly what you're talking about, even though I just did a horrible job explaining it. Not Your Average Clown says I will. I appreciate that, Not Your Average Clown. Welcome to the channel. Not sure if I've ever seen you on here, but welcome. Welcome to the stream. Game one should be in the books. That should be the dagger right there. This was a close game, believe it or not, in the first half and in parts of the third quarter, but... I guess we finally just, you know, started actually defending and pulling away. All that good stuff. What's good, Ben824? Welcome to the stream. Ben824. Great numbers right there. Let's hold the ball a little bit. There's no need to just... There's no need to keep on scoring. I'm just going to hold the ball for a little while. What's up, Frankie? Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry, but he was wide open. I know I said I was going to hold the ball, but I had no choice. But yeah, welcome to the stream, Frankie. We still got well over 20 people in here. I can't complain about that. We are also only two likes away from 30, so... If you have not liked the stream yet, drop a like for me if you haven't already. Let's see if we can hit 30 in these next couple minutes. Let's just let the clock run out. 
Let's just chill and let the clock run out. Because, yeah, I want to win by 40, but at the same time, I also want this game to be over, so I'm just going to run around this screen, past KD, and I'm just going to flip it up at the end of the shot clock, and just like that, the clock expires, and game one is in the books. I'm going to take a second to change the title of the stream to my final four games for Bill Russell. Yeah, that's right. We're being proactive, changing the title of the stream after every single game. Walking Dub says, just got an Amber Alert and my teacher got it at the same time. Dom says, what's an Amber Alert? Y'all don't have Amber Alerts in Australia? That's interesting, but basically when a car gets stolen or like, you know, a person, when something insane happens, I guess, that's when you get an Amber Alert on your phone. It's basically an all call, usually for something going on in the same state as you. Yeah. Tom says, I'm Australian, man. Yeah, so I kind of understand, but yeah. What's up, Jaden's the goat? Late. You were in here before the stream started. Not your average clown says, I'm Australian. Not your average clown. We actually have a lot of Australian viewers which I think is pretty dope. Get two steals with any player and beat the magic to claim your award. That should be pretty easy. That should be pretty easy. An amber alert is when someone gets kidnapped and it gives you a description of the car. I basically, yeah, that's pretty much what I said. When something dangerous happens and the news has to alert the public. Yeah, okay, okay. I pretty much got it right. I didn't do the best job in the world of explaining it, but I'd say we got it right. Dom says, well, don't have a clue. Now you do. Now you know a little bit. You don't know it 100%, but now you know a little bit. All right, guys, one game down, four games to go. 39-point win in our first game. It was a nice, chill warm-up game. Let's see if we can have another good game on our home floor versus the 1999 Orlando Magic. Puff said not all Amber Alerts are kidnapping. Sometimes it's a car getting stolen or something like that. You're right, they're not always kidnappings, but kidnappings are common on Amber Alerts. I'm not saying kidnappings are common, I'm just saying if you get an Amber Alert and you had to guess what it's about, kidnapping would not be a bad bet. That wouldn't be a bad bet at all. I came from the 11 hour grind for Steph Curry. I watched the whole thing. So that was actually a past live stream, not your average clown, but that was also a very good grind. I'm glad you watched the whole thing. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I really just enjoy just chilling here and grinding out the game. It's a lot of fun to just sit back, play, and talk to you talk to you guys why did I just choke like that mid-sentence but yeah I'm glad you enjoyed that very glad you enjoyed that and yeah we have really been grinding in NBA 2k21 so far as well we have been grinding NBA 2k21 my team as well so yeah feel free to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any grind streams We've beaten Domination, we've beaten Triple Threat, all that good stuff. We've done it. What's good, Clippers fan? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Thomas Connor? Welcome to the stream as well. Everybody joining the stream, y'all know what to do. Make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. Let's get this stream off to a good start. I mean, it already is off to a good start, but let's keep it up. Y'all know what's up. Let's keep it going. Not Your Average Clown says, do you have Carl Malone? I do not have Carl Malone. Sadly, I don't have Carl Malone. You've heard he's a good player, though. I might have to try and pick him up. But, I don't know. My team's big man situation's pretty good. We have two pink diamond big men. Got some guys who can space the floor, who can play the four. I like the big man situation my team has, so. 
I don't know if I need Carl Malone, but I might just go for him. Because you asked. What's up, Bang? Welcome to the stream, Bang. I have a feeling Mike Breen's gonna be saying that tonight. I have a feeling tonight's game is gonna be good. I think the Lakers are gonna bounce back, but I don't think it's gonna be easy. I think Mike Breen's gonna be saying, Bang! Welcome to the stream, though, Bang. Got almost 30 people in here, so... Y'all drop a like for me if you haven't already. We're at 30 likes right now, which is very good. Let's see if we can keep it up. CP, do you look at DMs on Insta? Lately, I haven't been looking as much, but I do usually take time to look at DMs. Sometimes you guys send me your teams, and I'll look at them, I'll talk to you guys, and we'll just, yeah, we'll just kick back, chill, have a nice conversation. I'm not on Instagram a ton, but whenever I am, I do make sure to read DMs. I make sure to, you know, answer my requests and everything. So yes, I do look at DMs as a simple answer to your question, Tyler. Bam's coming back. I've heard Drogic is not coming back, but I know Bam is back in the lineup, which I think is going to be a good help for the Heat. But at the same time, I think the Heat having Kelly Olynyk and Myers Leonard out there has really given them a boost because that is one extra shooter the Lakers have to guard. And them having that extra shooter out there is the reason why the floor is so spaced for Jimmy Butler. What's up, Jet G? I was here for the Tracy McGrady weekend in March, but I'm back to say what's going on. What's good, Jet G? Welcome to the stream. Welcome back, should I say. That's, that was a long time ago, man. That was like half a year ago, but the channel's grown a lot since then. But the streams, they're still just as chill. So, welcome back, Jet G. It's nice to have you back. Josh Smoove says Kendrick Nunn's got to step it up. I mean, at the end of the day, the Heat are going to need a lot of guys to buy in and step it up. Tyler Hero, he hit some big shots in Game 3, but he's got to be a little bit better. Keep in mind, Duncan Robinson hasn't had a huge game yet. Who knows he's going to go for like 7 for 11 from 3 this game. Because he can erupt at any given moment. The Heat have a lot of guys who are capable of going off at any given moment. So, I think tonight's game is going to be interesting, especially since they have Bam back. But also, Kelly Olynyx definitely earned more minutes after game 1. And... I'm just looking forward to seeing this next game, for sure. I'm looking forward to it. And this stream should be ending before the game. So if you guys want to hang around the entire stream and watch me get Bill Russell, we should have Bill Russell at least like 10 minutes before the game starts. If, if we don't lose a single game, which I haven't lost a game of spotlights yet, but you never know. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm invincible because... It is definitely possible that I lose, but it just hasn't happened yet, so I'm hoping we do not lose. Fingers crossed. Clippers fan says Kendrick Nunn needs more minutes. I was surprised he hasn't started either of the last two games, but he's played decently off the bench. Well, in game two, he was decent off the bench. Game three, he really didn't do much. And then game one, he was good in limited minutes, so yeah. What's up, HBY? Who is the other player you get besides Bill Russell? The other player is Ruby Mark Price. Ruby Mark Price. Welcome to the stream, HBY. Welcome to the stream, Man Funny. Everybody joining. Drop a fat like for me if you haven't already. Let's get the stream out there. 28 viewers already is very good. I cannot complain about that one bit. So y'all keep on talking to me in the chat. Let's keep on having a nice chill stream today. What's good, Royal Ryan? Welcome to the stream. RIP to the neighborhood. Yes! It is about time. What's good, Endgame? Welcome to the stream. Got a lot of guys joining in. Got 30 viewers in the opening stages of the stream. This is only our second game, so let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Flash JD says the only way Doc is going to lose 
is if the CPU turns in a DBG. And you never know. Even if the CPU turns in a DBG, maybe that's not even enough. You never know. Right now, we have a pretty good lead. We've already gotten our the only two steals we need to complete this challenge, so all we have to do is hold on and get the win. What's up, I Eat Boxes? Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome back, I Eat Boxes. 30 viewers in here already is great. And we've already finished the challenge of this game. So all we gotta do is hold on and make sure we don't lose. We already have two steals. All you have to do to complete this challenge is win the game and get two steals. That is, that is incredibly easy, so... Yeah, you guys shouldn't have any problems with this game, and you shouldn't have any problems with game one. In game one, all you have to do- Very inspirational. You going for curry? Yes. I'm probably not gonna get him, but I'm going for him. Flash JD says you have the best lineup in the stream. Best lineup in my team for no money spent. I agree with that. I mean, we have Blackman, we have Baylor, Artis Gilmore, George Mikan. I also have Darren Williams, but you guys know that I got him from MT. Saving up MT is important, so save up your MT, and you might be able to get some of those players that are pretty good on the auction house. Endgame says, let's go, Doc. Let's go. Hopefully season two is lit. Yeah, hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. It better be. Because season one's been pretty good. For what it's worth, season one of One Will Rise is pretty good. So hopefully season two doesn't drop the ball because they really brought the effort in season one. So hopefully they don't drop the ball in season two because season one was a lot of fun. The grind was really good. I'm looking forward to new domination, new triple threat. I'm looking forward to all that new stuff because that is even more stuff for me to grind. It's crazy that we're only like two weeks away from the new season. Less than two weeks. Ryan says, is Bill worth it? Probably not. But he does have very good defensive badges. I mean, he has pretty much every defensive badge. But I've heard he's not very good. He's only a 92 overall, but he's free, so we're gonna go for him. That's just more content for me to grind out, so... We're gonna go for him. We've been going for him for the past few weeks, so... This stream right here is actually the accumulation of... Four weeks before this, when I got the first Spotlight Challenges done. So, yeah. We've come a long way. I can't believe this is the fifth week of 2K21. Time really does fly, man. Time really does fly. Dante says I have to beat all-time domination by the end of the season. So, I think those rewards don't disappear. It's just that I've heard we're getting the new domination. I mean, a lot of guys have been saying that, so that, that's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming we're going to get a new domination. Of course, the triple threat reward is going to reset. That's what I've heard. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I've heard. Doc, I picked up PG for 90k. Is that a good pickup? I really don't know. 90k? That's a lot, but it's PG, and PG is pretty good. So that's not too bad of a pickup, but yeah. I haven't used Paul George, but a lot of you guys like him too. A lot of you guys like him too. Endgame says new domination will be lit. Exactly, exactly. That would be even more stuff for me to grind out. So I would love new domination. I would love it a lot. Yeah, see? Josh Move says new domination will be fire. Facts. And the reason why I don't think... I don't think the current domination right now, as it is, is going away. It's because of all those emerald rewards and stuff. I don't think they're going to take all that away. Especially since evolving players and winning all those games. It is a huge grind, so... I don't think 2K is just going to throw that stuff away. I think they're going to keep that. 
but add some new stuff. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I'm thinking. Flash JD says, how many more days until the next season? I want to say 12 days. Maybe 13. I'm really losing track of days, man. But I'm pretty sure it's either, yeah, 12 or 13. Like, we're in the last little stretch of One Will Rise. We're in that last little stretch. Good first half, by the way. We're playing a lot better than we did in our first game, so... We're gonna see if we can carry that same energy into the second half. Endgame says, hopefully Miami wins tonight. At this point, I'm thankful we won one game. I was surprised they won the last game, but... Jimmy Butler was looking like a beast the entire game, so... They deserve that win, for sure. What's up, Jamari? I'm level 36, I think. I think I'm level 36. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure we're level 36. Hector says, no cap, I hope the Heat win the whole thing. I don't think they will, but keep in mind, in two of the three NBA championships the Heat have won, in every NBA championship the Heat has won, they were actually in a series deficit. Versus the Thunder, they were down 1-0. Eh. Versus the Spurs, they were down 2-1 and 3-2. They won the series in seven. And back in 2006, they were down 2-0. And then D-Wade led them to four straight wins and one of the best championships ever, low key. So the Heat in every NBA championship they've won, they've come back from a deficit. You never know, maybe they'll do that again, but I'm not gonna bet on it. What's up, Cole Shackelford? Welcome to the stream. 31 people in here, 35 likes on the stream. I hope everyone's having a good day. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves. If anybody watching the stream is new to my channel, it would be awesome if you subbed. We're trying to grow the channel every single day. We are getting super close to 3.8 thousand subs. We hit 3.7 like early last week. And we hit 3.77 yesterday, so we're getting close to 3.8, which means we're getting closer to 4,000 every day, so it would be awesome if you subscribed if you haven't already, especially if you're enjoying the stream. And if you're enjoying the content, you might as well. Make sure those notifications are turned on too. Endgame says, I always love your streams. I appreciate it, man. Walking Dub says, Doc has a lot of basketball knowledge. I don't know how he remembers all this stuff. I mean, to be fair, I gave you some pretty basic facts, to be fair, but I would say I do have some decent basketball knowledge. Maybe better than decent, but at least decent. The one and only says, 3000 XP away from level 39, Curry will be mine, excuse me. That is very good. So you are a lot closer than I am. I'm only level 36. I have a good, like, I think 60,000 XP left, but to be fair, I have found some really big XP challenges I can do, and also, I've been saving up MT. I've been saving up MT to finish up a lot of these challenges and buy some of the players I need, so. Yeah, we're gonna see if I can get the curry, but I'm really gonna have to grind hard, possibly on stream. I might grind XP live on stream, kind of like Lino did last week. Grinding XP is a good idea because Lord knows I need that XP if I'm going to get curry. Josh Move says, Doc, what do you think was the biggest underdog championship? I think the biggest underdog championship ever was either the, the Mavericks in 2011, the Pistons in 2004, I think those are the big ones that come up because there are a lot of underdog champions, but it really depends on what you classify an underdog champion as. Because even though the Cavaliers were down 3-1 in 2016, I wouldn't consider them an underdog champion. Um, a lot of the teams that go on to win the finals after being in a deficit, I really don't consider them underdogs. For example, even though the Rockets like 
were the underdog in pretty much every round back in 95. I wouldn't consider them an underdog to the Magic in the finals that year either. So I think the biggest underdog champions are the ones I just named. Definitely the... Yeah. I think the Pistons going up versus the Lakers with Shaq and Karl Malone and Gary Payton and Kobe. But I think the Mavericks going up against the Heat that were definitely like supposed to win the championship that year. I think that's the biggest underdog championship. And that's not to mention, that Mavericks team had a very impressive run to the championship. In the second round, they played versus the defending championship Lakers and swept them 4-0. And in game four, they set the playoff record for threes in a game. Like that was a great performance. And then in the conference finals, they beat the Thunder. So yeah, not an easy championship run at all, at all. What's up, Mock Builds? Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry for saying what's up to you a little bit late, but welcome to the stream, Mock Builds. And we're only two likes away from 40, so you guys drop a like for me if you haven't already. Let's get up to 40 likes. Hasn't even been an hour yet, so thank you guys for showing up so big on the stream early. It's off to a great start, man. I can't complain. I can't complain one bit. Troyaholic said, hey. Codeine said box cat gang. The box cats are pretty iconic for you, man. I feel like I haven't heard from the box cats as much lately. Then again, I haven't been showing up to your streams like I should be. I'm always out of the house or something, so I've kind of forgotten about the box cat legacy, I'm not gonna lie. Clippers fan says, Doc, I pulled Dikembe yesterday. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I haven't run into a single person who uses Dikembe, though, so I don't know how good he is, but, I mean, he's a really good defensive center, great rebounder, all that stuff, but like I said, I haven't used him or played against him, so, even though I know that's a W, I'm not sure how much of a W it is. Flash JD says, how many times have the Hornets made the playoffs? I really don't know. That's a great question. Um, I know they made the playoffs back in 2015. No, 2016. But they lost to the Heat in 7 in the first round. I know they made the playoffs in 2014. But they lost to the Heat in the first round. They made the playoffs in 2010, but they lost to the Magic. And before that, I really don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I know they've made some deep playoff runs before, but I don't think they've ever made it to a championship. No, no, of course they've never made it to a championship. I really don't know if they've even been to the conference finals. I really don't. I seriously don't think they've been there. Walking Dub says Doc has 87 points, and it's only the end of the third. Yeah, Walking Dub, sadly we have one more quarter to play. Sadly, we have one more quarter to play. What's up, Jimster Shot? Welcome to the stream. Just woke up from a nap. It's all good, Jimster. Welcome to the stream. We've only been live for a little bit under an hour, so you're really not that late. You are really not that late. I mean, we still have three more games to play after this one, so you're really not that late. I can't complain. The one and only said, good thing I'm not a Hornets fan. So some of my subscribers are Hornets fans, and I'm not gonna lie. If you're a Hornets fan, yeah, the Hornets fan, Hornets never go deep in the playoffs, but they're just a team that you can't really dislike. They have a cool logo. I mean, there are no guys on the team who you can really dislike. And nobody hates the Hornets because the Hornets have never, you know, knocked their team out of the playoffs or anything. The Hornets, they're one of those chill OG franchises, man, and that's why I like them. What's up, Gory? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing alright, Gory. I know you've been grinding out content lately, so keep it up. Keep it up. Doc, next gen game gameplay trailer. A dub or an L? I think it's a dub. I think it's a dub. 
Those players did look pretty realistic, man. I'm looking forward to the next gen a lot. I'm looking forward to the next gen a lot. Is Amethyst Dirk for 20k a snipe? I don't know. I haven't seen his price. So I really don't know. You're going to have to ask other people in the chat because I seriously have no idea. I mean, I've heard that Dirk's a good shooter, but a bit of a defensive liability. Dirk seems to be a little bit undervalued on the auction house every year, no matter what color his card is. Pink diamond, opal, anything. Walking Dub says, I like the trailer. Puff says, we are the only brand with Jordan. So Puff, now every team has Jordan brand on their, I think their alternate jerseys. Every team has Jordan now, but to be fair, you guys were the first to do it. Y'all were the first to do it in Charlotte, to be fair. I like how this game's on pro, yet the CPU is 7 for 7 on threes against me. Hey man, just keep on playing defense. Play some defense and they'll start missing shots, I promise. I know that one of my strategies sometimes is to not play defense, but I think our defense has been solid this stream so far. Not perfect, but you know, solid. Like, good enough. Clippers fan said my birthday is on October 17th. I'm going to try to remember that. I probably won't, but I'm going to try to remember that. Also, thank you to whoever just liked the stream. I saw that number go up to 41, so thank you for liking the stream. Everybody in here who hasn't liked the stream yet, make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. Yeah, 30 people in here, 41 likes is great. All we got is what, two minutes left and we move on to the next one. Stormy says my birthday is on Halloween. Got you, got you. What's good, Carby? Welcome to the stream, man. So Hector's on, Stormy's on Halloween. Like, I'm not very good at remembering birthdays, but We'll see if I can remember that one a little bit. So I want to save up MT. What's a good budget lineup for under 50k? I mean, my lineup is budget, but I've been grinding so long to get like Artis Gilmore and Elgin Baylor. So when I think of budget lineup, I think of guys like Ruby, Ray Allen. I think of guys like Ruby Koo Coach. Um... Amethyst Boris Diaw, guys like that. I mean, Kenny the Jet Smith, guys like those who, even though they're rubies, they're pretty skilled, especially guys like Kenny Smith. Jimster, today was a good day. Today was a good day, Jimster. I got a good workout in, in the morning. I got a good nap, went to class, went back to sleep. And then, we're live! We are live. What's up, Ballin' W? Welcome to the stream. What's good, Ballin' W? Carby said, nice stash. I appreciate it, Carby. I appreciate it. I wouldn't say the mustache is necessarily intentional, but... I've gotten a little bit lazy with shaving, and... I don't have to show up to school, like, in person, so... I really have no reason to ever look good for anything, and yeah, whenever I go to the gym I wear a mask, so nobody ever sees my face for real, so why shave? I mean, I will eventually, probably in a day or two, but like, there's no point in me shaving now. What's good, JD? I'm doing very well today. Odd Squad said, when did Bill even come out? About seven hours ago. Seven, eight hours ago. Seven or eight hours ago, I'd say. I would hold the ball, but there's still time on the shot clock, so... We'll take the win. A nice, good old-fashioned blowout. And that is now two games in the books in about an hour of playing, so... That's a pretty good pace to start things off. Good way to start off the stream. Two games done in the first hour, and y'all know we're trying to get this stream done before game four of the NBA Finals. 
So, yeah, we're, we're on a good pace right now. We're on a very good pace. Flash JD says, grow a beard. Josh Smooth says, grow out the stash. Codeine says, join beard gang. I don't know. If I get a beard, I got to make sure. I don't know. I really don't know. I, I don't know. I've never thought about the beard before. And I've never been... I've never really been good at growing beards. Ball and W said just past the one hour mark. Okay, so it's been a good hour of the stream so far. First two games, pretty easy wins. Up next, we have to get two blocks with any player. So that shouldn't be too tough. That shouldn't be too tough. I'm not worried about it. But yeah, in one hour, 45 likes. And we've been averaging about 30 viewers this stream, so that is very good. Thank you to everybody who's tuned in so far. And if you haven't dropped a like yet, come on, you're lame. Drop a like for me if you haven't already, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe if you're enjoying the stream so far. Thor Odinson, welcome to the stream. You know what, Thor? I made a new member emoji just for you, so check it out, Thor. Also, what's up, O oh, Faded Aspect? Welcome back. But yeah, Thor, new emoji just for you. Literally just for you. I mean, if you're a member, you can use them no matter what. But Thor, that new emoji's for you. Ryan Moody says, you just gotta let the beard grow. People shave it before it fills in. I'll take that advice. I'll take that advice. Let's get it. We gotta block two shots. We gotta block two shots this game. That shouldn't be too much of a challenge. I'm really not worried about it. Yeah, getting two blocks shouldn't be... Shouldn't be too tough. Balvin says, do you want to get level 40 for Curry? Of course I want to. But I don't know if I will. Also, if Hakeem's out here shooting fadeaways instead of layups, I don't know if I'll be able to get two blocks, but we'll try. Walking Dub says, this is my budget hammer. That's tough, but that, that hammer's not too bad. It's not Mjolnir, but it's not too bad, I guess. I don't know. The member hammer is a lot nicer, I gotta say. That member hammer is just great let's get a fast break bucket real quick nah gotta get two blocks let's see if we can get one on this fast break Codeine said what did I miss last stream Elgin Baylor's Evo you did miss that you did kind of miss that with Thor he just asked for the Mjolnir emoji, and I had to give it to him. Also, one block shot. All we need is one more block shot. Yeah, there we go. Nice block by Artis. All we gotta do is block one more shot, and this challenge is in the books. Clippers fan says, sorry I haven't been showing up. It's okay. I eat boxes says, if you added a box emote, I would cry. I mean, you gotta be a member to ask for an, for an emote, though. Because Thor, he's an icon on the channel. He deserves his own emoji. And he's been showing up big lately. I gotta give Thor some credit. He's been showing up big, but you never know. I eat boxes. Maybe I will introduce a box emoji sometime. You never know. Not being sus, but Curry in the next gen's looking great. I was like, dang, 2K, I see you. Curry was looking super realistic. Curry did look very, yeah. That animation was crisp. I gotta give, I gotta give 2K credit because that next gen animation looks really good. Really good. Flash JD says, why be a member when you can have these emojis? Yeah, look at that. A Porzingis emoji, a CP the Doc emoji, Nah, for real, I appreciate that though, Tyler. I Eat Boxes says, Next Gen 2K looks like NBA Live. You know, 
I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I really did see a little bit of NBA Live in that trailer. It still looks great, don't get me wrong, it looks great, looked realistic, but it reminded me of NBA Live when they post those screenshots, and then the game ends up being nothing like how it looks. Now 2K is not gonna do that. Next Gen is at least gonna look good, but yeah, that's how NBA Live used to be. They would post those screenshots that would look nothing like the actual game, and yeah, the game would then suck. What else is new? Dom said, box emojis. Yeah, we do have box emojis, by the way. I eat boxes. Not sure if you noticed that, but we do indeed have box emojis. Nah, that could have been my second block. I've gotten one block shot. I'm contesting literally everything. We're just not getting any blocks. Dante says we need another 2K13-14 transition. Facts. Facts. We do need to get another transition like that one because 2K13 was great. And 2K14 next gen was just game changing. Like 2K14 next gen, no cap, it changed the game forever. It looked so good, it played so smoothly, like, 2K14 Next Gen was on another level. I gotta give 2K credit for that to this day. Another good contest, but I just didn't get the block. I gotta get those blocks, man. For some reason, I'm not. Walking Dub says NBA Live 19 Mobile is great. I just have to hold down a button to play defense. You know, I think I've played NBA Live on mobile once. I kinda... I kinda remember that. Also, thank you guys for 50 likes on the stream already. We've been averaging over 30 viewers, which is awesome. 50 likes already is great. We aren't even halfway through the stream, so thank you guys for helping the stream get off to such a good start, man. I appreciate it a lot. What's up, Harrison Orr? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, Harrison Orr. Oh. Hope you're doing alright today, man. We've been locking up on defense in the first quarter. We have to block two shots. And we've already blocked one, so we're going to see if we can keep up that great rim protection. Justin says, I'm going to head out. Might be back in 15-30 minutes. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Flash JD says, My friend just got NBA Live once, and I was like, let's play. But right when he pressed the game, Paul George and Kawhi's rating was the same. So when was this? Which NBA Live was this? Because years back, you can make an argument that Paul George and Kawhi were about the same rating. Because if this was like three years ago, I mean, Paul George was putting up big numbers in Indiana. They weren't like making deep playoff runs like Hawaii was or anything, but I could see them like being kind of interchangeable. Not until these last few years has Kawhi just become a next level superstar. Because keep in mind, Kawhi started off as a defensive stopper. He developed the offensive game. The Spurs would lean on him more offensively as Timmy D and Tony and everybody got older. I could see them being like similar ratings at first. What's good, Cloud? Welcome to the stream. Harrison Orr, yes, of course I still have Artis in my lineup. He's blocked one shot already. All I need to do is block one more shot. One more block, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, yes, one more block. Dom says Artis is filling in for Bill Walton. He kind of is. He kind of is. Flash JD says the latest NBA Live. I mean, Paul George did have a great year last year. And Kawhi was coming off a year in which, you know, he didn't really play in San Antonio. That's really the only argument I can make because, yeah, you're right. Paul George and Kawhi shouldn't have the same rating like that. Jimster says, hopefully they get the right player ratings next gen. Walking Dub says, please don't get two blocks. I want a longer stream. I mean, if I lose one of these challenges or mess up one of these challenges, 
I'm probably just going to end the stream early because I want to watch the whole finals game, to be real. Harrison says he's been the new Bill Walton. Facts. He really has been a beast so far in his time with the team. <sighs> We've played good defense, but I got to get one more block. All I need is one more block shot. I'm going to try to get it right here. I'm going to leave the paint literally completely wide open. But they're not passing. They don't want to pass to Ralph Sampson for some reason. Also, whenever they call a timeout, I'll turn the music back on. I know you guys enjoy that nice, chill background music, so I'll turn it back on in a second. But I'm just trying to block these shots, and it's not happening. Jimster says we need a Bill Walton emoji. You know what? I might give you guys one. Ask, and you might receive. Ask, and you might just receive. I know the saying is ask, and you shall receive, but... No promises. A Bill Walton emoji would be cool. Maybe that's going to be the next emoji. I don't know. Maybe that Bill Walton emoji is next up. Maybe. All I know is that I need one more block. That's all I know. But for some reason, they're not passing to Ralph Sampson. Look at these contested shots they're taking, man. They're taking such contested shots instead of passing the ball to the man I'm intentionally leaving open, which is really frustrating. I mean, we have over 10 minutes left to get one more block, but they're just taking super contested shots, and I'm not getting the blocks. Harrison Orr says maybe an artist sticker. That would be awesome. I know you guys would love that. What's up, Big Chief Gamer? How many stars do you have in Domination? Total, 297. 297 total. Welcome to the stream, Big Chief Gamer. Hope you're doing alright today, man. Never seen you in the stream before, so... Welcome. Hope you're doing alright today, man. Codeine says he beat all of Dom. Yes, I did. Made it look easy, too. Maybe a Baby Yoda emoji. I mean, to get more emojis, we gotta get more members first. Keep that in mind. We gotta get more members first. You guys are giving me all these ideas for new member emojis. We gotta get a certain amount of members to have a certain amount of emojis, so... As we get more members, I'll think about implementing these ideas. Okay. Like I said earlier, and like I've been saying, all we need is one more block. I'm trying to bait the pass to the paint, but it's just not, they're not throwing it. They're just not throwing it. It would be cool if you can bit gift members like you gift subs on Twitch. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Because it wouldn't even cost that much. I mean, memberships only cost $2, so... Yeah, that would be cool if you can gift members kind of like how you gift subs on Twitch. Because it wouldn't be that hard. It wouldn't be that hard at all. And they've already made so many changes to YouTube streaming to make it more like Twitch. I feel like that would be a very good change. That would be a very good change. Ah, I almost got the block. But once again, I can test the shot, and it just misses. I'm not getting blocks, but I'm contesting every single shot. The one and only says, It's ironic that my biggest blowout in all-time Dom was the Lakers by 46. How's that ironic? That's a very good blowout, but what's ironic about that? Oh. They're just not passing to the open man. Harrison Orr says, is that Darren Williams legit? Saw Troy Dan got him in one of his recent videos. That Darren Williams is very good. Darren Williams is very good. He's been hitting threes the entire stream, getting to the rim. The dribble moves are great. And I've been using him a lot online lately too. And yeah, he's very good. Very, very good. 
I can't complain. Big Chief Gamer says, I'm from Lino's stream that one day. Hey, big shout out to Lino. It was his birthday on Saturday. I appreciate him dropping by and rating. Lino's a real one, and his channel's been growing very well lately, so... Big shout out, Lino. AJ says, I got Nate Archibald yesterday. Can't tell if he's a dub. I mean, Archibald, he's just a guy you gotta evolve to get the big prize, which is Elgin Baylor. I mean, Archibald's good. He's super fast, quick jump shot, a little bit of a defensive liability, and he can't really dunk, and his jump shot rating is not that good, but he is insanely fast, and once you evolve him, he gets even better, so. I'd say Archibald's pretty good, not the best, but I'd say he's still pretty good. Pass it, please pass. They're not isolating Ralph Sampson in the post. I'm literally sagging off, but they're just not giving this man the ball. And whenever he gets the ball, he passes out. So it's impossible for me to get blocks because he's not even shooting the ball. They're not even shooting the basketball. Harrison says, my bad for the mistype. I mean, it's ironic because the Lakers are in the finals. Okay, I got you, got you. After the Heat win in seven, I don't think the Heat are going to win in seven, but we'll see. Maybe they win in six instead. Maybe I'm wrong. Come on! I just can't get that block, no matter what. I'm playing great defense, I just can't block that shot. Why? I don't know, but I just can't get that block shot. Ah, I tried to get it right there, but I just can't block these shots. We have a lot of time to get that last block, but we'll have to see if I can get it because they're just not shooting layups. So I can't get blocks if they're not shooting layups. Dom says, I got my heat in seven. Yeah, there we go. It's always funny to me when people say my, but I you never know. I know Dom's a big heat fan. I know he's a devout supporter, so I understand why he said that. Once again, they're shooting nothing but perimeter shots. Please go up. Ah, and right there I messed up. Mm -mm -mm. Hey Dom and anyone who doesn't have a hometown team, how do you guys decide what NBA team's your favorite? I mean, my two favorite NBA teams are the team I watched in person for the first time and the first team I watched on TV. So that is my thought process right there. First team I ever saw in person, first team I ever watched on TV. So the Knicks and the Hawks. I've been a diehard ever since. Except not really a diehard. I don't think diehard's the word. Yeah, I don't think diehard's really the word. Oh, that was my chance right there, but he passed out of his shot. That was literally my opportunity right there, but I blew it. I soiled it. If I don't get that last block and I have to replay this entire game, I'm probably going to cry. And I'm being serious when I say that. You guys don't want to see me cry. It gets pretty ugly. So we better get that last block. No. Once again, great defense, but we are just not blocking the shots. We're playing some awesome perimeter D, and we're playing some great paint defense. We just can't block these shots. This is just insane. I Eat Boxes says, I'm a Thunder Rockets fan. My favorite players are Russ and Shea. Fair enough. I'm a big fan of Shea, too. I think he's going to be a pretty good player. Doc, Ruby, Eric Gordon's a god. Yeah, I've heard and I've played against him. Yeah, I know he's pretty good. Yes! Yes! Thank you! Finally! It's about time we blocked that shot. I've been playing great defense in the lane for too long. It's about time we blocked that shot. That took 
30 minutes too long. We should have blocked that shot way earlier, but at least we blocked it now. That's all that matters. Let's shoot a three with artists just for fun. That's two blocks, right? I'm pretty sure that's two blocks. Okay, where's Artis at? Okay, that's two blocks. That is indeed two blocks. All you gotta do is get two blocks, so... There we go. We did it. What's up, Taco? Welcome to the stream. Ryan said, I just got gamed from half by James. I hate domination. Yeah, Ryan, I'm telling you, man. Those games of all-time domination... They can get kind of tough, so stay persistent, don't give up, you're gonna get through it. What's up, Aztec? Welcome to the stream, Aztec. Hope you're doing alright, man. I'm doing alright myself. I'm doing very alright. Now that we got those two block shots, that took way too long, but we did it. We did it. We have 30 people in here. It would be awesome if you guys dropped a like on the stream for me, if you haven't already. We are approaching the majestic 69 likes. I think we can definitely get that before this stream ends. And even though this stream is going to be shorter than usual, I have a feeling we're still going to get it. I really have a feeling because it's been a good one. It's been a good one so far. Also, let me change the title of the stream real quick. Because I forgot to change the title after last game. I forgot to change the title after last game. So, once this game's over, we only have two games left. And we're making some great progress. Like, we're on a really, really good pace. I gotta give myself some credit for that. We're on a great pace. And we're definitely gonna have this stream over with before the game of the NBA Finals starts. So, yeah. As long as this stream is over before game four begins, we're good. Josh Move says, yo, Harrison Orr. What's good, Josh Move? Welcome back. Welcome back. Apparently on pro difficulty, you can green fadeaways from the logo. I've never tried. I've never tried. Ralph Sampson got bullied in the post by artists. Yeah, he did. Even Ralph Sampson just can't guard artists. Just can't guard him. One quarter left, and they've been playing the same five guys the entire game. I don't think they've made really any substitutions. So they're tired. We're not really tired. And we've been locking them up the entire game. We've only given up 20 points. Harrison Orr says, I was typing the leave a like comment when you mentioned to like the stream. Harrison, you can still type it anyway. You gotta let the people know to like the stream because I know not everybody in here is like the stream. And liking the stream is important because it helps the stream get out there for more people, so... You guys make sure to leave a like if you haven't already. Dom says the shout out from Dominique was a fat dub. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. That was very nice. Lil Codeen says, I think me versus Harrison will be the best 1v1 of all time. That would be a great game. I mean, I'd love to play a full game versus Harrison myself. I'd love to play a full game versus Harrison myself. We still need to find an outdoor court in Atlanta, though. But I guess whenever we do that, maybe I'll make the trip because I know you guys would love to see that 1v1 versus Harrison. Do you have, or are you going to try to get the Dominique Pink Diamond? Now, the Dominique Pink Diamond... I've heard he's actually the best pink diamond card in the game. Like, actually. So I might try to go for him, but... I don't know. I don't think I need him yet. And he is kind of expensive. So I might wait for his price to drop a little bit before I pick him up, but... I mean, I like my team how it is now. My biggest thing is that I need, like, explosive scoring guards, so... 
As long as I have two good guards, two wings who can shoot and defend, and a big man who can hold down the paint, and maybe space the floor, I don't know. I don't know. Thor Odinson. Thank you for the big dono as I throw a terrible alley-oop. First dono of the stream, and Thor, I'm glad you love the new emoji. I'm glad you love the new emoji. I made it just for you, so I'm glad that you like it. I'm very glad you like it. Yeah, that emoji's fire, I'm not gonna lie. That hammer is heat. That hammer's fire. Harrison says, once I heal, I'll definitely be down to play. Sounds good to me. And Ryan said he might have found a court. I'm trying to come to Atlanta to play again. I'm also trying to come to Atlanta in general because that trip was a lot of fun. I love going downtown, love exploring, eating fattening food. That was a good day. That was a very good day. Ballin says, I just got two blocks in one play with Ruby Joel Embiid, but before that I had none, and I did it in the third quarter. Good job, Ballin W. That's what I'm talking about. That is very good. I have a bad left foot bruise right now and it sucks. Any foot injury sucks. Every foot injury sucks, man. Or any leg injury sucks. Let me rephrase. Foot injury and leg injuries are just horrible. So, I understand that, Harrison. Let me know when that heals. But, yeah, ankle injuries, knee injuries, anything that has to do with that, it just sucks. So, Harrison, take your time to recover and... Yeah, when you're back at full strength, we'll go 1v1. Codine says, do you get an emoji per new member? So you get an emoji for like, it's in increments. So when I hit 30 members, I get a new emoji. Right now we're at 22. So in eight more members, a new emoji comes out and then 10 more members after that. So 30, 40, 50, etc., etc. You get new member emojis. Sadly, not one for each member, even though that would be really cool. That would be super cool and super convenient, but yeah. Sadly, no, it is not one emoji per new member. Dom says, first person to reach 20 hours. Walking Dove says, congrats. But that number one spot isn't safe. Yeah, that number one spot's not safe just yet. Because Walking Dub's coming for you, Dom. You've been showing up to every stream, but I don't know. I don't know. Walking Dub's coming for you. Do I believe Walking Dub is going to catch you? Definitely not, but you never know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Aztec says, I have 40 hours. Do you really? I swore that Dom was in number one with like 20, but... If you have 40, that's pretty good. I don't believe you, but that's pretty good. Also, Thor, because of that $5 donation, you got a good boost in points. The point system's on fire lately. Dom says, I was lurking, but I don't get hours for it. So pretty much Dom's been in here every second of every stream when he has the chance to. It's just that when he lurks, yeah, you don't get hours, so... Let me change the title of the stream real quick to my final two games for Bill Russell. And yeah, it's been 90 minutes. It's been 90 minutes, we've played three games, and yeah, all we have left is two more games to win, and Bill Russell is ours. Aztec says, I'm legit at 60 hours. Nah, I thought you just had 40, but now it's 60. What's next? 857? What's good, Angel? Welcome to the stream, Angel. And what's up, Luna? 
Luna hates Gatos, Angel, everybody joining the stream. Make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. We're getting very close to 60. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Be like Mike and get 63 points with any player. And we have six minute quarters to do so, so this should be a pretty easy challenge. Also, nice emojis, Jimster Shot. Those member emojis hit different. Luna says, I've been lurking for quite a while. I've been watching you closely. You phrased that kind of weird, but I'm glad you've been watching. I'm glad you've been watching. So yeah, two games left until we get the man, Bill Russell. And I have heard he's not very good, but I still want to pick him up. Like, I still want to complete the challenges and all that stuff. So let's do it now. Let's get it, man. Three games down, two games to go. And Clippers fan, I'm sorry about your toe. That rhymed. Let's get it. I don't know who I'm going to score all those points with, but we'll see. Haven't thought that far ahead. I feel like Darren Williams is the guy. I feel like I want to score my points with Darren Williams, but I don't know. I really don't know. We have our options, but I don't know who I'm trying to score my points with. Good defense by Artis. Let's get that ball to Durant. Two missed shots already. Two really good looks, but I missed them both. Not a good start. Ryan says, is Al Horford a dub or an L? These diamond rewards aren't as good. Al Horford's a dub in my opinion, even though Harrison Orr does not like Al Horford. I think he's a dub. I think he's a big dub. That's just my opinion though. Just my opinion. All right. Let's see if we can start scoring with somebody. Am I gonna score all my points with Rolando Blackman? Let's see. It's been one minute and we only have two points. So I might have to do my no defense strategy just so they shoot quick shots and we get the ball back fast. This might be one of those no defense type of games. Harrison Orr said, how do you mess it up? How did you mess it up? I'm sorry I didn't ask. I kind of jumped straight into my commentary. How did you mess your foot up? I should have asked that earlier. Nice blocks! Where was this last game? Last game it took us forever to get those blocks. This game we already have like 30 already. We have 30 blocks in like two seconds. So where was this last game? Artis already has post takeover, but Elgin Baylor is the one I'm trying to score with, but I'm not doing a very good job scoring with anybody. I'm off to a terrible start scoring. Defensively, we're solid, but offensively, ugh. This is a disgusting start to the game. I need to do more of that. I need to do more of that. Puff says, I'm about to eat, Doc. Peace. I'll see you soon. Puff, have a good meal. Good defense, though. In my face, he made that shot. Doc, who is your favorite lightning wielder in this chat? Favorite lightning wielder. So all of my members are the ones who wield the lightning. Um, my favorite? That's a great question. I mean, there might be somebody in here who's lurking, who I don't know is in here. So it's kind of tough for me to answer that question. What's good, J Reacts? Welcome to the stream, bro. Haven't seen you in a minute, but yeah. Favorite lightning wielder. I mean, Thor, I gotta go with you because you are the lightning wielder. I think you're the one. I gotta roll with you because you're the reason why we have the hammer emoji in the first place. So I gotta give you some credit for that. Gotta give you a little bit of credit for that. They're making some tough shots. We're playing some great defense too, but we're also giving up too many offensive rebounds. There we go. 
Now we're starting to score some points. It's about time we're scoring a little bit because we got off to a awful start. Thankfully, this game is longer than most games. This game is six minute quarters, so I'm just gonna play no defense. We're gonna get the ball back and we're gonna score a lot of points because I'm playing no defense. So let's go baseline. We have a little bit of a mismatch. Yeah, oh, I didn't mean to shoot that. Stormy says, I gotta go. I'll see you around soon, Stormy. I'll see you. J React says, I don't get notifications and I have notifications on. Yeah, every YouTuber I know is having problems with that. Even the bigger YouTubers who I keep up with, they have problems with notifications, so J, Maybe if you start showing up more, you'll get the notifications because a lot of my subscribers say that as long as they're tuned in, as long as they're consistently watching, they get notifications. But even some of my consistent viewers don't get notifications. So yeah, Jay, YouTube needs to fix that because it is hurting my views a little bit. Even though my views have been very good lately, it has been hurting my views because not as many people are able to show up. Harrison says, you know that's messed up to ask Doc who his favorite subs and members are. It's messed up a little bit, but it's really not that big of a deal. I mean, at the end of the day, everyone in here is pretty chill. All my members are chill. Anyone who subscribed to my channel, I appreciate them. So at the end of the day, I mean, I appreciate you all. I don't really play favorites. Yeah, playing favorites would be pretty tough. Especially when I have so many people subscribed and so many members. Playing favorites? Not easy. It's not easy when you have so many. But no, all y'all are pretty chill, man, for real. So I'm not gonna pick a number one favorite. But Thor asked. He said, who's the best lightning wielder? And I don't think anybody's better than Thor. Even when Thor is fat, like, yeah. I think he's the best lightning wielder in the chat. I was looking at the chat, turned it over. Got 14 points with Blackman. Should have been 16 right there. Hey, look at that. Bill Walton's in the game. The GOAT's in the game for the Celtics. That's not fair. They have Larry Bird, McHale, Parrish, and they have Bill Walton's The Goat off the bench. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Also, the one and only, nice 69 emoji. Very nice. Sixteen points already for Blackman. Make that eighteen points after these free throws. We're on a good pace. We're on a good pace for 63 points. We could get one more shot here if I play an OD. We have time for one more. That was perfect defense right there. Let's see if we can get a three right here. Nah, no three pointer. Good first quarter though. Very good first quarter. Harrison said I'm about to hit the gym. I'll try tuning in when I get back if you're still on. I probably won't be, but I appreciate it Harrison. Thank you for dropping by. I'll see you around. Thor said that's true. I'm large. But like I said, you're probably the best lighting wielder we got. Also Clippers fan, I saw your message. I saw it the first time too. Just saying. You don't have to keep sending it. And one! That's the first time I've said that this entire stream. That's the first time I've said that. We've gotten and ones, but that's the first time I've said that. 
Welcome back, Jaden. Let's keep on playing that no defense. And we're going to get a lot of shots fast. Let's just keep on driving in. And we're going to get those 63 points easily. Four is hands down. Top two, most fun Avenger to watch. Yeah, it's fun running Thor. It is very fun running Thor. In the game, and it's fun watching him in the movies. I'm not going to lie to you. Also, thank you to whoever just liked the stream. That is now... How many likes on the stream? 56? That's pretty good. That is pretty good right there. Also, I gotta refresh my chat on the left side. I don't know what's going on with my chat on the on the left side. Okay, I think we're good now. Yeah, we're good now. Okay. Let's keep on rolling. I had to fix the chat because I don't know what happened, but we're back. Twenty-five points already. So we're almost halfway there and this is a super long game. You guys know this game is six minute quarters, so you have a lot of time to score 63 points, even though this Celtics team is pretty good. They're just leaving the lane wide open, and we're getting easy buckets every time down. Somebody in the chat earlier said they were stuck on this challenge, but it's been pretty easy so far. I know I have a good team, but it's been pretty easy so far. I wish he would shoot that. I really wish he would shoot that. Almost halfway there. One more bucket, and we're halfway there. Like Big Time Rush used to say. We're almost halfway there. Julian M says, is there any challenges for Bill Russell? There are five sets of spotlight challenges for Bill Russell, but I don't think Bill Russell himself has any challenges yet. Julian, I'm not 100% sure. You would think that Bill Russell would come with challenges because every single player you get to get Bill Russell, they come with challenges. Michael Thompson, Evan Turner, everybody, they get their own challenges. So I think Bill Russell is going to get his own challenges too, but I'm not sure if he has any yet. I'm really not sure. But it would be nice if he got some because we need that XP for Steph Curry. That would be a great way to get XP right there. Why did I shoot that? That was a terrible shot. But also, they're beginning to double team, so... <sighs> I'm not getting as many good shots. Let's go baseline, though. The one and only says, I love when you miss a three when your player turns around. So do I. So do I. Whenever your player does any celebration and then misses the shot, you just, you gotta love that. It's just a great thing about 2K. They turn around, they celebrate early, but then they miss the shot. Why is that in the game? I don't know, but you gotta love it. You gotta love it. That's just one of those things you can't, you just can't hate. You gotta love when you shoot a shot, you think it's gonna go in, but then it doesn't. You gotta love that. I mean, who doesn't? Ah, here come the double teams. Here come those double teams. We're still finding ways to get open though. Look at that. 94% contested layup. You gotta love that. 39 points scored, 24 points to go. Let's keep it up. The one and only says should only be for Swaggy P. Do we have Swaggy P yet in the game? Just wondering. 
I sadly don't think we have a Nick Young card yet, but when we get one, I'm ready for him to shoot a three, turn around, and miss it. Just like that game versus the Knicks. That was the game where he did that. I remember. I was watching it on live TV. The Lakers won by like 30. No Pau Gasol, no Kobe, no anybody. No anybody. But the Knicks, they still lost by 30. I remember that game vividly. I remember that game so well because the Knicks were trying to make the playoffs that year. They won eight games in a row. They lost to the Cavaliers after leading by 17. Then they lost to the Lakers by 30. They did beat the Kings the game after that though, but they shouldn't have lost any of those games. Shouldn't have lost a single one. What's good, Michael Sanchez? Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you in here, Michael Sanchez. Hope you're doing all right, bro. 41 points with Blackman. All we gotta do is score, what? 22 more and the challenge is over. Michael, I hope you're doing all right, man. You're a little bit late, but better late than never. I say this a lot, but there is a lot of game left to play. There's a lot of game left to play. This game is six minute quarters, so you're gonna see a long second half, and after that is gonna be our final game of the stream where I'm assuming we have to play against all the new players and get the win. I'm assuming that's what it's gonna be. What's up, Javan? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, Michael and Javan and JD and Trust the Process. Welcome to the stream, everybody who's joining in. Y'all drop a like for me if you haven't already. Let's see if we can get to 60 with all the new people who are joining. But yeah, Michael Sanchez, I'm doing very well, man. Today has been a good day. It's been a chill day. It's been a good stream so far, and I'm looking forward to watching basketball once the stream is over. Once this stream is over, I'm excited for game four of the finals. Very excited. <sighs> it's gonna be good. It's a must win game for the Heat in my opinion. But the Lakers, it's kind of like a must win game for them. It's not actually a must win game. But if they lose this game, the Heat have all the momentum. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this game goes. Michael said I can't wait for the Lakers game. Same, man. Same here. It is going to be good. It's going to be very good. And Bam Adebayo is back, so the Heat are going to be... They're going to be a little bit better in this game. The Heat are going to step it up a little bit today. But I think the Lakers are going to bounce back, especially Anthony Davis. Thor said, let's go. Jimmy G buckets. The G stands for gets. The G stands for gets. 18 more points and this challenge is over. 18 more. Thor said, let's go Heat, baby. He got a lot of Heat fans in the chat, but we got just as many Laker fans, which is interesting. I'd say the Heat versus Lakers fandom in the chat is actually pretty balanced. I'd say it's pretty balanced. Got a lot of guys in here who love the Heat. A lot of guys in here who want the Lakers to win as well. Channing Fry said LeBron goes for 60. I don't know if he'll go for 60 versus Jimmy G Buckets, but we've seen LeBron have big games in the past versus good defenders. Last game, LeBron didn't play badly, except for his turnovers in my opinion. Those turnovers were, those turnovers were awful, man. The Heat played some great defense on him, but also, LeBron looks kind of careless at times. And when LeBron's looking kind of careless, that's not a good thing. So we'll see if LeBron can lock in today, have a big game. I think either him or Anthony Davis, maybe both of them are going to go off this game. We'll have to see. I really don't know. We'll have to see. Troy Aholic said, let's go Heat. Michael said, let's go Lake Show. Clippers fan, welcome back. Welcome back, Clippers fan. We're only 14 points away from finishing this challenge, and we have 10 minutes left of game time to do it, so we should be able to win this game pretty easily. 
We should be able to win this challenge easily. Y'all know I'm not worried about it, but I'm trying to finish this stream before the finals game starts. So that's why I'm talking about stuff like finishing in this time, finishing in that time. That's why I'm trying to do stuff like that. That's why I'm saying stuff like that. Because I'm trying to get through these games fast. And they're double teaming. I wouldn't call that unfair, but they are sweating hard. These Celtics really don't want me to win this challenge. I don't blame them, though. I really don't blame them. I don't remember Michael ever saying he goes for the heat. I don't remember him ever saying that. As far as I know, Michael's a... He's been a Lakers fan for, maybe not for life, but for a long time. Also, what's good? Militant. Welcome to the stream, Militant. We got 20 people in here. You guys drop a like for me if you haven't already. We're almost at 60. We're about to hit 60, so y'all help me get there. Militant said, what challenge is this? This is game number four. Once this game is over, we only have one game left for Bill Russell live on stream. So we're making some great progress, getting through these games very easily. This game hasn't been easy, but we're doing a good job, I'd say. I'd say we're doing a decent job. All we have to do is score 12 more points with Ronaldo or Rolando Balkman, and it'll be over. This should be another two. Yeah, there we go. He had to foul me. Thor said, mandatory hammer spam in the chat. If you're a member, spam those hammers. Listen to Thor. You gotta listen to him. The one and only said, I'm on the blocks challenge. Got him in the first, so that's a relief. I got one block at the beginning of the game. It took me until like the end of the third quarter to get another block. But thankfully, I finished. Getting those blocks, it's easy, but a lot of the times, I would play good interior defense, but I wouldn't get the block, and that would just suck. That just sucked. I would play great defense, but I wouldn't get the block, but eventually, I got the block, so there's no need for me to be upset about it anymore. Dom said budget hammer. That budget hammer emoji is pretty clean. That budget hammer emoji is not too bad. It's not as good as Mjolnir, but it's still nice. It is still nice. I'm not going to sit here and act like it sucks. There we go. Six more points. Six more points, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, bad pass. Militant said you got this, bro. I appreciate it, man. You got this, too. You got this, too. You said you're on level 22, which is pretty good. Or 32, excuse me. 32. I'm on 36. And with all these new challenges 2K is putting out, if you keep on grinding challenges, you'll be on a pretty good pace to get that curry. But you're going to have to grind a lot because the season's almost over. The season is coming to a close soon, so you're going to have to keep on grinding hard. But I think you can get that curry. I'm hoping I get that curry too. Dom says walking dub is slacking off with the hours. Yeah, he is. And Codeine is back on the top hours, so shout out Codeine. I mean, for what it's worth, walking dub is still right on your ass. Because 19.67 and 20.25, that's not a huge difference. That is not a huge difference. I wouldn't say you're in trouble. But that's not a huge difference. What's good? I eat boxes. Welcome back. Michael Sanchez says that was dope how Dominique shouted you out. Facts. Facts. That was super dope. What's up, Young Riles? Just came back from practice. Hey, welcome to the stream, man. So this is the fourth game of the stream, and we're only playing five games. So you've missed a decent bit, but it's still been a good stream, and I'm glad you can make it at all. So drop a like on the stream, kick back, I know you're probably tired after practice, and uh, yeah, enjoy the stream. There we go, 64 points, we only needed 63, 
This challenge is officially in the books. As long as we win this game, that's all that matters. We scored our 63 points. Let's keep it up. Got 25 people in here once again. We're only one like away from 60 likes on the stream. So you guys drop a like for me if you haven't already. If you want to be lucky like number 60, now's your time to shine. Now's your time to shine. Jimster said he's streaming tomorrow or Thursday. I'm probably going to stream on... Man, I really don't know. That's a great question. I was going to post a video after this stream, but it's going to be kind of late at night, and the NBA Finals are going to be going on. So I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow to post that video. I might post two videos tomorrow, but I'm probably not going to stream because, of course, Wednesdays are my super busy days in school. Tomorrow, I have a class at 12.20 a.m. No, p.m., p.m. 12.20 p.m., excuse me. 12.20, 2.30, and 5. I got three classes tomorrow that are pretty much back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back because of how long they are. So, tomorrow I don't have time to stream, but I am going to post at least one video. At least one video. And you guys got to show up big on that video for me, man, because... I'm not sure if you guys remember my Russell Westbrook triple-double video, but that video went crazy, even though it was only like eight minutes long. Tomorrow, I'm posting another video like that one, so I'm going to need you guys to show up big so that video does well in the algorithm and everything, because that video could also be a big one, for sure. That could be another huge video. I Eat Boxes says, when does Game 4 start for the finals? My time, it starts at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, it starts at 9 p.m. Pacific starts at 6. Yeah, I think you get the picture. I think you get the picture. 9 o'clock. No, whoa, whoa. I'm just trying to call a timeout. I'm trying to call a timeout so I can turn the music back on real quick. Dom says, I'm on the road right now on the way to get a haircut. That's what I'm talking about right there. I know I say it a lot, but that's what I'm talking about. Let's get this music going again. It's time to no, no, not the advertisement. There we go. Had to skip the advertisement. Josh Smoove says, Ham and Cheddar Hot Pocket is slapping right now. The one and only says, that's literally the only bad Hot Pocket. I mean, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Ham and Cheddar. I'm not going to lie to you, Jimster. I'm not a big ham guy. I like turkey a lot better than ham. Turkey's a lot better than ham, in my opinion. I mean, some guys like turkey, some guys like ham, some guys like both. I don't, I've never been a fan of ham and cheese, man. I've never been a ham and cheese guy. I hate to say it, Josh, but yeah, not a big fan of ham, ham and cheese. Dom says, what's a hot pocket? Dom, I know you're Australian. <gasps> no! Oh, Rolando Blackman got injured. Blackman got injured. Oh, my gosh. I mean, we've already scored all the points we have to. Thank God he didn't get injured earlier in the game. But that is crazy. Oh, my gosh. Thank God I've already scored all my 60 points. That would have been horrible. Thor said, you guys are crazy. Don't do this to us. I really do hate to say it. I'm not a big ham and cheese fan. If we're talking about Hot Pockets, my favorites are definitely Philly cheese, pepperoni, sausage, and like mozzarella. Like those Hot Pockets are good, but I'm not a big fan of ham and cheese. Not a big fan of ham and cheese. Hot Pockets are great, but I've just never been a ham and cheese fan. Turkey and cheese, very good, but I've just never liked the combo of ham and like cheddar cheese. I like ham, I can tolerate it. I like cheese. I just can't tolerate the two together for some reason. Jimster said it's something about that Philly cheese steak. Facts, that Philly cheese is really good. The one and only says the meatball one slaps the hardest. I love the meatball one, but like, like Jimster said, it's something about that Philly cheese, man. Something about that Philly cheese. I Eat Boxes says, I could live off Hot Pockets while eating the packaging on the side. 
I eat boxes, I could also live off Hot Pockets, but those are so high on salt and sodium and fat. Yeah, I mean, unless I get a guarantee that I can eat Hot Pockets without putting on all the fat, I'm probably going to eat something else, even though Hot Pockets are amazing. Hot Pockets are amazing, but y'all know I at least try a little bit to stay in shape. I'm not a fitness tryhard, but I do try not to get too fat. I try to look as good as possible at any given time. I don't know. All I know is that those are like so full of fat and stuff that I make sure not to eat them too often, but those Hot Pockets, they hit hard, man. They slap. I said that's so weird. Young Riles said, I wish I could have a Hot Pocket right now, but I've been dieting for football season. A lot of guys I know, when it's football season, they don't diet. They eat as much as they can. They bulk up. So you are actually different than a lot of football players I know. I'm friends with a lot of UAB's football players. And yeah, dieting, it's never a thing for them. But to be fair, they work out so hard and so often that you kind of have to eat all that food. You kind of have to if you're going to like work out as much as they do and play as much as they do. I eat boxes says make a salad hot pocket. No, no. So I used to eat salad, but I've realized that if you work out enough, you can get you can be in shape without eating salad. Cuz let's be honest, salad it can be good but it's never my first choice there's always something I'd rather eat than salad I haven't had a salad in so long so when the pandemic and everything first happened I lost so much weight but none of it was because of salad I was eating the same as I regularly do it's just I was doing a lot of you know cardio stuff but yeah you don't have to eat a salad to get in shape just work out a bit harder and you're gonna be okay Jimster says Thor, why did he call that kid out in Fortnite? What do you think? He was upset with him. He was upset with Noob Master 69. Dom says, I eat salad 24-7. That's like the one food I go to. Sa salad is just, it's leaves. I mean, dressing does help. Dressing definitely helps. Adding chicken, adding turkey or whatever, definitely helps. But why eat chicken on a salad when I can eat chicken on a sandwich, you know? Or fried chicken. Actually, I haven't had fried chicken in months. I don't know why I said fried chicken. That's one of those foods I haven't had in so long. You know, before two weeks ago, I hadn't had pizza in forever either, so... I gotta get into eating these fattening foods again. Because those fattening foods hit hard. Jimster said Thor was the goat right there when he called that kid out. Thor's always been the goat. And of course, yes, that was very cool when he called that kid out, not gonna lie. Clippers fan said, I'm lurking. It's good to know you're still in here, though. Josh Smooth says blue cheese is the best. Okay, we can agree on that. We can agree on that. I like blue cheese. Not a lot, but a little bit. Blue cheese is solid. Ham and cheese... Not really. I'm not a big ham and cheese guy. AJ says, I'm lurking a ton too. That's okay if you guys are lurking. As long as you guys are here for the big event, me getting the Bill Russell, I'm happy. If you guys are here to spam W's when I get Bill Russell, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. Also, thank you to whoever just liked the stream. We're only seven likes away from the big 69. So let's see if we can get there. Let's see if we can get that 69 like total. Because we are super close. We are super close. Less than two minutes left in game number four of the stream. As long as we don't take any L's, I'm happy. We're getting through these games at a very good pace, so let's keep it up. Let's hold the ball a little bit, let the clock run out. I'm even going to put the bench in the game, and then we will move on to the next one. On to the next one. So let's hold the ball. Let's clock manage a little bit. Feed the ball to Baylor for a post up, and shoot it. I eat boxes says blue cheese goes hard. 
Yeah, it does. I think I like ranch a little bit better, but blue cheese is pretty good. Michael says LeBron and AD are going to play their hearts out. LeBron and AD, they are going to play their hearts out because they should have won last game. They almost got bailed out last game by Markeith Morris and Kyle Kuzma, who both played great off the bench. But of course, LeBron had the eight turnovers. Yeah, AD was in foul trouble, but he still played 33 minutes. But of course, he couldn't be too aggressive because he didn't want to draw fouls. Like, LeBron and AD, they're going to show up this game, man. Mark my words. LeBron and AD are going to show up. Bam Adebayo is going to be huge for the Heat. It's going to be a good game. I'm ready for it, man. I'm excited. Game one was a blowout. Game two, it wasn't a blowout, but it wasn't as competitive. This game four is the biggest game of the series because if the Heat lose this game, the series might just be over. If the Lakers lose this game, the Heat have new life. Also, let me change up the title of the stream real quick to my final game for Diamond Bill Russell. There we go. For everybody in the stream who's made it this far, I appreciate you. It is time for our final game. It is time for our final game, so let's get it. Jimster says you can rebuild the Rockets. Get a straight center for the Rockets. That is a very good idea getting a center for the Rockets because they could use one they could definitely use one all right guys final game of the stream this stream has really gone by fast this stream has gone by really fast feels like it just started two minutes ago and it's been a really good stream super smooth one final game for this one will rise playoffs record award pack and that also means one final game for bill russell how did i forget his name six minute quarters all i gotta do is have one player get a double double that shouldn't be too bad get a double double with one player versus this team on superstar difficulty I'm not too worried about it so let's see if we can do this that team is good but my team is better Michael Sanchez says Boogie Cousins will be perfect for LA or Washington Boogie he's a talented player man at full strength he can be solid he may not be as good as he used to be when he was averaging like 28 and 15 but he can be a good player I wouldn't say on a championship team but on a contending team I think he can play some good minutes for them young Riles said my cousin was on the same high school team with Tracy McSorley nice very nice all right guys we're playing in Philly we're playing in Philly versus Allen Iverson versus Mark Eaton versus Michael Jordan versus Dirk and Derek Fisher. This is going to be a good game right here. Trust the process said, did he have trouble with any challenges or barely completed any of the spotlight? I'd say every challenge so far has been pretty easy so far. Why did I say so far twice? I don't know, but trust the process. It's been pretty chill. In this game, we got to win and get a double-double with any player, so let's get right to it. Let's get to work. Let's get this win. Let's get him in. I'm not too worried about this game. I know they have Dirk and Iverson and Michael Jordan, Derek Fisher. I'm really not too worried about this game. I feel like defensively we're going to be fine. Why are we... Whoa, why do we leave Derek Fisher open right there? That was a terrible rotation on defense. What's up, Walking Dub? Welcome back. Is this the last game? I'm not sure if you saw it, but the stream title does say final game for... Final game for Bill Russell. So yes, this is indeed the final game. It's going to be a good final game too. 
All we have to do is get the win and get a double-double with any player, so getting the double-double shouldn't be an issue. I am really not worried about it. Defensively, it could be kind of tough staying with Allen Iverson, maybe Derek Fisher, but Mark Eaton cannot shoot at all, so I'm just going to sit in the paint with Artis Gilmore and, yeah, I'm really not worried. They could make some tough shots, but as long as I'm playing defense... I think we'll live. I think we'll live. Walking Dub says I didn't read the title. It's all good, Walking Dub. But yes, final game of the stream. Final game for the man, Bill Russell. Yeah, good block. Good block, but of course they got the ball back. Not a terrible start. We have a lot of time to get this double-double. We have four points total, two points with Darren Williams. There's an assist if we're trying to get that double-double with Darren Williams. We got to get some assists this game. And eventually, we're going to get some stops on defense. When people ask me to leave open for three in order to win, one man said Steph Curry, that man's 0-1. You don't want to leave Curry open. That's just... That's a noob move right there. That is a noob move. Let's run some pick and roll with KD. I don't think Dirk's fast enough to stop him. If only Artis could shoot. If only. Nice pass though. I think we're gonna get this double-double with Darren Williams. Also, why is Mark Eaton wide open? What is this transition defense? Great D. They're making some tough shots early. They're making some tough shots. I've contested a bunch of their layups, but I have not had the best results. What's up, Pokemon? Sadly, no news on Bob Pettit. We got some new cards today, but Bob Pettit was not one of them. Yeah, no news on Bob Pettit, but like I said, I will keep you updated on Bob Pettit news. Welcome to the stream, Pokemon. Welcome to the stream, Apple Apple. Everybody joining the stream, make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. We are approaching 69 likes. So if we can get there at the end of the stream, that would be legendary. Another block! That is two blocks already for artists. Defensively, we're doing a good job blocking shots, but they're making some tough ones too. And they're getting a lot of offensive rebounds, so... We just gotta play a little bit better defense and get more rebounds, I guess, and we're gonna be okay. For anybody who didn't read the title, this is the final game of the stream. It's going to be a good one. Um, we haven't lost a game yet. We really haven't had much trouble with challenges yet. But, yeah, we've been getting through these pretty easily, pretty smoothly, I'd say. Yeah, it's been pretty fun so far, I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure if fun is the word, but I've enjoyed playing through these so far. It's been super chill. Pokemon said 2K is lacking on releasing some GOAT cards. Yeah, we need that Bob Pettit in the game just for you. Just for you. Great defense. Let's pull away. Let's win this game. What's good, Comp? Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you back in here, Comp. Hope you're doing all right today. Yeah. Everybody in the stream, hope you're chilling. Hope everyone's doing all right. Hope everyone's ready for this NBA Finals game because I know I am. Once this stream is over, I'm immediately turning on game four of the finals. So you guys who want to watch the game tonight but also want to watch my stream, don't worry. You are not going to miss that finals game. This stream is definitely going to be over before the finals game, so y'all do not have to worry about missing the game. Pokemon, I did watch the next-gen trailer. It was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. That trailer was pretty good. Comp says I got the heat. 
I got the Lakers, but it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a good game. Of course, I'm not a Heat fan or a Lakers fan. It's just I think the Lakers are gonna win tonight. I think LeBron's gonna show out. I think Anthony Davis is gonna bounce back. That's what I think, but of course the Heat have Bam Adebayo back, which is huge. Bam Adebayo is huge, so we're gonna see if he can make a big difference tonight. Of course he didn't play very well in game one, we're going to see if he can have a bounce back performance per se. Trust the process says how do you beat the Warriors on the underdogs one. You just got to play the best defense you can and try to score every time down the court. Because Pokemon, if you go back, we're well not Pokemon, um, trust the process. If you go back and watch the stream where I was doing the playoff stoppers, I was actually down by like 17 in that game, but y'all know I always come back. So I was able to come back in that game. Steph Curry started out shooting like 7 for 7 though, which was just crazy. Like he literally couldn't miss. I thought 2K was cheating, but I just calmed down, started getting good shots, and we got the win. So it wasn't easy, but that's how I did it. What's good, ACOG? Welcome to the stream. Imagine the Heat pull at Denver. You never know. We've seen so many 3-1 comebacks in the last five or so years. You never know. We might see another one. We have seen a lot of 3-1 comebacks. The Rockets versus the Clippers. The Cavaliers versus the Warriors. The Warriors versus the Thunder. We've seen a lot of 3-1 comebacks. We've seen a lot of 3-1 comebacks. Welcome to the stream, though, ACOG. Welcome back, Tori. You guys drop a like on the stream for me so we can get to 69. We're only three likes away from 69. Let's see if we can get there with all the people joining. And of course, if anybody who's watching the stream has not subscribed yet, subscribe. We hit 3.77 thousand subs, I think, today? Or was it yesterday? I don't know, but the channel's been growing very well lately, so let's see if we can keep it up. Doc, can you please play a triple threat offline game with Bill Russell? Maybe. You know what? I think I will because this stream might actually end up being a little bit shorter than I expected. I've only been live for about two hours, 20 something minutes now. So this game, it might be done before the one hour, the three hour mark. So maybe I will play one game. Maybe I will play one game. You never know. HBY said how many games you got left. In the title it says my final game. So yes, this is my last game. Yeah, sorry guys, I can't come to lunch. I blew all my money on this gaming rig. Come on. I hate these advertisements. You could have saved like so much money. So much money. No, 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 no. Sorry. Switching the music up. I know you guys love this song. Also, thank you guys for 70 likes on the stream. Gotta give you credit for that. Thank you guys for 70 likes on the stream. That is very good. JP said an ad. Gross. Exactly. Exactly. I did not see that coming, but... Yeah, thankfully, we got this music going now. Welcome to the stream, JP. I'm not sure if you've been in here lurking, but welcome. And what's good, JDS? Welcome to the stream as well. Yeah, this is the last game of the stream, but you guys are showing up at a good time. There's still a lot of game left to play. And yeah, if we get this win, we get Bill Russell. This is a very big game. This is a very important game, so... Let's get this win. I do not want to have to replay this game, so let's make sure we get this win right here. I hate that they're leaving artists open. Terrible shot. What am I doing? We got to play a little bit better, man, if we want to win this one. 
Three more assists, by the way, with Darren Williams. And we get that double-double we need. So for anybody wondering what the requirement for the final challenge is, if you get a double-double with any player and win the game, it's all over. Dom says, I'm still somehow in the top 10 points with no donos. And you deserve a lot of credit for that. You are, yeah, number 10 with no donos. Only nine points behind EGR, who has all those points because of donos. So Dom, I would not be surprised if you move into the top. I wouldn't be surprised if you move into number nine. And you almost have an entire one lead on ours. One hour lead, that's pretty crazy. You almost have a one hour lead over Walking Dub, which is pretty crazy. Dom says, I think Pokemon is the biggest Bob Pettit fan out here. Definitely, definitely by far. What's good, Ethan Baker? Just finished college, what's up? Just chilling, man, just grinding out these games. Just grinding out these games of Spotlight. If we win this game, we get Bill Russell, so this is a big game. Y'all know I'm a My Team Grinder, so I had to stream this for you guys. I had no choice. Had to give you guys content today. But yeah, welcome to the stream, Ethan. I had college earlier today, too. I don't call it college, but it was indeed college. Oh, that was good defense by Mark Eaton right there. Pokemon said he's on my tablet wallpaper. Yeah, I don't know anybody who has Bob Pettit on their wallpaper. So, yeah, you are definitely the biggest Bob Pettit fan out there. No question. Also, that's back-to-back -back and ones for the 76ers. I believe this game's rigged. I'm kidding, but you never know. You never know with 2K. Pokemon is a Bob Pettit super fan. If you have Bob Pettit as your wallpaper on your tablet, then maybe you are a Bob Pettit super fan. Because I don't know anybody else who has Bob Pettit wallpaper. You're the only one. You're the only one. I don't know anybody else who has Bob Pettit on their wallpaper. Very nice. Then on my Xbox One wallpaper is LeBron. See, there are a lot of guys out there who probably have LeBron on their wallpaper. But Bob Pettit, that is something else. So I give you credit for being unique because I don't know many Bob Pettit diehard fans out there. You're the only one. You're the only one. Also, there we go. There's our double-double. Now all we have to do is win the game. All we have to do is win. And this challenge is in the books, and Bill Russell's in our collection. Also, thank you to whoever just liked the stream. That's pretty good. 71 likes. My goal, especially for short streams like this, is 69. So thank you guys for all the likes on the stream. Thank you guys for showing up big to the stream. Yeah, it's been a good one, man. It's been a good one today. I'm not going to lie. Let's close it out strong. Let's get this Bill Russell. And once the stream is over, NBA Finals time. Michael Sanchez says, Who do you think should pick up Isaiah Thomas in free agency? I think low-key a team like the Warriors should. There are some teams that could use his bench scoring. And I think the Warriors, they're a team that really needs depth. They're a team that really needs depth. JP says, I use Bob Pettit brand condoms. Now there we go. That is, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's all I got to say. That is very good. So, if you really thought that Pokemon was the big Bob Pettit super fan, I mean, JP literally wears them on his dick. So, I don't know. Maybe JP's the real Bob Pettis super fan here. Lonnie Williams says, Point guard, shooting build. 
or would you create a point guard slashing build? I mean, I think Lonnie, the best thing you can do is make a playmaking shot creator that can shoot so you can catch the defense off guard. And you, you can give that build either a few slashing badges or defensive badges, but I think making a point guard shooting build is more important than making a slashing build. Especially since a lot of guys still love to sit in the paint. I think making that shooting build is very important, Lonnie. Welcome to the stream though, man. Hope you're doing alright. Got 28 people in here. Welcome back, Flash JD. We're on the final challenge for Bill Russell, so you guys hang around for the second half. We are going to get that Bill Russell, and it's going to be awesome. So, in the first half, we have a nice 45-31 lead. We've already finished the challenge we have to, which is get a double-double with any player. And I got my double-double with Darren Williams, so let's keep it up. Let's just keep on pouring it on so we can get this win and get that Bill Russell. Also, 74 likes on the stream is great. Let's see if we can get that up to 75. Who wants to be lucky like number 75? Now's your time to step up and shine. Flash JD says, you connect your Xbox to your PC. Yes, I do. Yes, I do connect my Xbox to my PC. The stream quality is not as good as it could be because of my house's Wi-Fi. But the video quality is always great. The videos are always 1080p because, yeah, the PC, I gotta give it credit. It's pretty powerful. Not as powerful as it could be, but pretty powerful. Lonnie says, do you play my career? A little bit. I'm more of a my team grinder, but I do have a my career series on the channel if you want to check that out. I do play my career, but not much. Not as much as I... Not as much as I normally do. What's up, Alexis? Welcome back. Haven't seen you in a long time. It's been a minute since I've seen you, so welcome back, Alexis. Hope you're doing good. Hope everyone in here is doing good today, man. Man, why are they leaving me open every time? They're double teaming, and there's always a shooter open when they double team. They really think I don't have the vision out here. Dom says, I would get a skin fade, but I have school next week. You should still get it. I mean, what are they going to do if you get a skin fade? What are they going to do? You might as well. Pokemon says, I got a big Jamal Crawford poster above my bed. That is pretty dope. Clippers fan says, I got three Kawhi Leonard posters. I don't have many posters in my room, man. I have a Kobe poster behind my green screen, but sadly y'all can't see that. I also have a Ray Allen poster of him hitting the shot, you know, versus the Spurs. Not because I'm a Heat fan, but because that was a legendary moment. That was a legendary moment. So I had to, had to memorialize it, as you should say. What's good, Muhammad? Dom says I go to a Catholic school. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I feel like you've mentioned that before, but I didn't know that. Now I understand, okay. I said, what are they gonna do? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Clippers fan says Dragic isn't playing. Bam is playing though. And that should give them a decent boost. That should give them a decent boost. I mean, honestly, of course Bam is gonna help the Heat, but the Heat using like Myers Leonard and Olenek, it just gives them an extra threat on the floor because you can't help off of guys like Kelly Olenek because they're going to hit threes. And that's why last game and the game before, whenever Jimmy Butler would drive in, there wouldn't be any help defense. Because Dwight Howard or Anthony Davis or whoever, they have to guard shooters on the perimeter. So it's interesting that Bam's coming back because of course he's going to be great defensively. Of course he's super skilled on offense. But having those extra shooters out there in Olenek and Leonard was actually really big for the Heat in Game 2 and Game 3. Especially Game 3. But remember, in Game 2, Kelly Olenek had like, what, 24 points? 
Last game he had like 27 points. So Kelly Olynyk, he's definitely earned more minutes. I'm not sure if he's going to play with Bam, but Kelly Olynyk, he had a big last couple games. So we're going to see what the Heat do tonight because Kelly played well in his minutes. He was hitting some big shots. He wasn't a defensive liability either, which I think is the most interesting thing. Kelly Olynyk is really not a defensive liability. He's actually a really good player for the Heat. Alexis says, I'm good, Doc. Thanks. How about you? I'm also good, Alexis. You're in Greece, if I'm not mistaken, so isn't it like super early in the morning for you? I could be wrong, but if I remember correctly, you're in Greece, but I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. It's been a good stream. It's been a good week so far, and looking forward to watching basketball after this. Good defense, but I couldn't get the block. Lakers in five. LeBron is my second favorite player. Got you. Got you. I mean, I also picked the Lakers in five, but not because LeBron's my second or first favorite player. HBY says, how many jerseys do you have? I have seven. I have way more than seven. I'm not sure what the exact number is, but maybe I should make a video showing off my jersey collection because it's a very good collection. I gotta give myself credit. I'm a, I'm very good with collecting jerseys. I gotta give myself credit for that. Alexis says, you remember correctly, I just woke up to watch the finals. I'm gonna be watching too once I finish this stream. So the game starts at 8 o'clock p.m. my time. Right now it is 7.21 p.m. So I might actually have time to play a game of triple threat before the finals game starts, but either way, the stream will be ending pretty soon. It's almost the end of the third quarter of game number five. So yeah, we're getting through these games pretty quick. We are getting through these games super fast. Dom says I'm back again. Welcome back, Dom. JDS says more vlogs ASAP. You know what? Tomorrow I'm posting a My Team video. It's like a little tips and tricks challenge video. If that video gets a certain amount of likes, maybe I'll make a jersey collection video because a lot of you guys ask if I collect shoes and stuff. You guys ask if I collect different things. I don't collect shoes, but I do collect jerseys. I would be pretty happy to show off my jersey collection. We'll see. It's a pretty big collection, so it might be a pretty long video, but maybe you guys would enjoy that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. That's not the focus right now. The focus right now is making it through this game and getting that Bill Russell. That's the focus right now. Pokemon says Bob Pettit jersey. Sadly, no Bob Pettit jersey. But since I'm a Hawks fan, I do have a lot of Hawks jerseys. I am very happy to say that. I do have a lot of Hawks jerseys. Dom says I'm in the mall, so I have I have shit service. I'm sorry about that, Dom. I'm very sorry about that. Thankfully, the stream's almost over, though, so you don't have to worry about your service for too much longer. Alexis says, I started playing my team two days ago. Which mode gives the best rewards to boost up the team? Domination from what I see? Yes. Yes, I think domination is the best. That's just my opinion. You guys feel free to disagree. Domination gives you a lot of MT, a lot of tokens. If you guys are interested in MT or tokens, I think domination is definitely the best game mode for that. Michael Sanchez says, I have a lot of LeBron jerseys. I'm getting more soon. So the way I am, Michael Sanchez, I would collect jerseys for one player, but I just like collecting jerseys for different teams, different players, a little bit more than collecting like a bunch of LeBron jerseys and stuff. But I might start doing that. What's up, Jacob? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, Jacob. Got 30 people in here. 
Got 77 likes on the stream. We're about to hit 80, so you guys drop a like for me if you haven't already. We are one quarter away from finishing the Bill Russell grind, so let's do it. Let's make sure we don't blow this lead. We are up by almost 30. Let's make sure we don't blow it. Look at Thor spamming the hammer. Big shout out to Thor. That new member emoji is just for Thor. And also, Thor had the biggest donation of this stream. So shout out to Thor for being a real one. Final quarter for Bill. Let's get it done. Max Goldbergs, welcome to the stream. What's the challenge for challenge four? Score 63 points with any player. And it's six minute quarters, so it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. So yeah, Max, in game four, you want to score 63 with any player. You should not have much trouble, especially if you have a good team. And it's six minute quarters. So even if your team sucks, you'll be fine. Come on, why are they double teaming? They're double teaming as if I don't have 99 passing vision. What was the CPU doing? What are they thinking? Leaving my guys so open. The one and only said, yo, this game. This game's crazy. JDS says, why 63? I'm pretty sure Michael Jordan had a 63-point playoff game versus the Celtics. Was it 63? Either way, yeah. 63 points. I think that's the most points ever scored in a playoff game, so... If you're wondering why 63, I think that's why. My basketball knowledge isn't the best. I would say it's pretty good. Not the best, but still pretty solid. What's up, Genius Expert? Welcome to the stream. We have 34 people in here. If any of you guys are just joining, we are four minutes away from Bill Russell, so you guys hang around. We are going to get him in about, yeah, about four minutes. If anybody's new to the channel, hang around, enjoy the content, and if you like what you see, it would be awesome if you subscribe. The channel's growing every single day. We are getting close to 3.8 thousand subs, and we are also getting close to the end of this stream, so you guys hang around, it's almost over with, and we're going to get that bill, he's going to be pretty good too. What's up gaming channel by Jaden, welcome back, welcome back Jaden, also Puff welcome back, I know you got back earlier, but I didn't say hi to you right off the bat, so welcome back Puff. Also, when the game is over, and when we get Bill Russell, get ready to spam W's. Get ready for the W spam. I know y'all are spamming right now, but get ready for it when we get Bill, because we've been grinding for weeks getting through these spotlight challenges. Clippers fan says I've been here the whole time, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Stream is almost over. Ethan Baker says you hype for 2K21 next gen. Of course I'm hyped for next gen. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. The trailer kind of hyped me up today, man. I'm not going to lie. I saw that trailer and said, you know what? This looks pretty good. I saw this trailer and said, it looks pretty good. I was surprised. I was caught off guard. Uh, Sports Mania, I am not a Celtics fan. I'm actually a Knicks fan. Which I know is a lot sadder, a lot worse than being a Celtics fan, but yeah. I'm a Knicks fan, also a Hawks fan. I mean, yeah, my teams aren't the best, but I would say I'm a pretty loyal fan. What's up, Wiggy? Welcome to the stream. Also, welcome to the stream, Sports Mania. Everybody who's joining, make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. We are one away from 80, so... If you want to be like number 80 on the stream, now's your time to shine. The time is now. Da, 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 da. We have a decent lead with two minutes to go. 
We're getting that Bill Russell soon. Now Brown dishes to Jordan. They need this one. Good defense, Artis. Let's close this thing out strong. Jaden Salty. Yeah, I don't know why Jaden's getting all... I don't know why Jaden's just talking so much trash about Bill Russell. I mean, no matter how good he is, I mean, that's not what it's about. We're just... I'm just giving you guys content. I don't know why you're talking about Bill Russell being trash. Whether he's trash or not, that has nothing to do with what's going on. I'm just trying to grind out content for y'all. That's the goal. Ah, I should have stolen that. So this game was a little bit easier than I expected. A lot of the games in these spotlight challenges. I know the game versus the Warriors and playoff stoppers. I've heard that one's kind of tough. I mean, a lot of the games are kind of tough, but this one's been surprisingly easy. Sportsmania said Patrick Ewing's underrated. Yes, he is. Coming from a Knicks fan, he is pretty underrated. Yes, I agree with that. Dom says gotta go now. See ya. Oh, Dom. You had to head out before the, the big Bill Russell opening. Pack opening, sorry. Come on. Either way, Dom, I'll see you around. I appreciate you dropping by. Let's get this bill. Let's get this bill. Nice 50 point lead. And we can hold the ball. There's no need to attempt any more shots. I'm just gonna hold the ball. Gonna change up the title of the stream as well. And we'll go get our Bill Russell. Very nice. Can't complain about that. Gaming channel by Jaden says ban Jaden. Jaden's chill. It's just, I don't, you don't have to ban him. I don't think Jaden's really misbehaving. I don't think Jaden's really misbehaving. But he did just ask you guys to ban him, so I don't know if somebody actually banned him or what. Y'all didn't have to actually do that, but I guess someone did. I guess someone did. Very easy win on Superstar difficulty. Yeah, I expected them to play a little bit better than that, but nice easy win. 28 points, 22 assists for Darren Williams. 24 for Baylor, almost a 20-20 game for Gilmore. And we won by 50, so that's pretty good. Codeine says I unbanned. Fair enough. I mean, if he does anything like spam L's or be toxic or anything, you have permission to ban, but I'd say he's pretty chill. Thank you, Wiggy, Michael, Puff, everybody in here. There's our One Will Rise pack. There's our Mark Price. You know what? Let's save the let's save the Mark Price for another two minutes. Let's go ahead and open this pack and see what our luck is. Maybe we'll get Allen Iverson. That is not Allen Iverson. Let's go ahead and quick sell Westbrook. Let's get our Mark Price, and then we'll get the big reward. We'll get the big reward afterwards. There we go. Let's lock in. I think y'all know what time it is. I think y'all know what time it is. If you watch the streams consistently, if you watch my grind sessions, I think you know what time it is. So, y'all get your cameras ready. You guys get your cameras ready because I know y'all always love this part of the stream. Y'all always love this part. Oh look, there's the chat. 
There's the chat. It took a long time for the chat to show up, but there it is. There's the chat. All right. There's my pose for that one. Another quick pose. Hope you guys enjoyed those poses. We'll also open up this shoe pack. I guess we can go in a shoot around too. But then again, Bill Russell can't shoot. Bill Russell's not a shooter, so is there really a point in going into shoot around? Because he can't really shoot. Thomas, I am. I'm not really a full time streamer. I also post videos. I guess we'll take a look at him, but I don't know. The rewards are complete. There's everybody right there. Thank you guys for all the W's. There's our Bill Russell right there. So I guess we'll go ahead and pose next to him because that is some pretty big card art right there. So let me just... For anybody who wants a picture, have to pose. Had to take some time to pose. Thank you, Thomas, for the W's. Thank you, Michael Sanchez, Puff, JDS. Thanks, everybody, for the dubs. Hector, Walking Dub, Thor, Odinson. You know what? We'll head in to shoot around for a little while. The finals game doesn't start for another 25 or so minutes. I guess we can head in and shoot around. Let's add him to the lineup. He will replace Willis Reed. He will replace Willis Reed. Bill Russell is worse apparently than all of these guys because of his overall rating. His defense is amazing though. The defense is on another level. He only has 23 badges, but Rim Protector Hall of Fame is great. Of course, Intimidator Hall of Fame is good too. Post move lockdown Hall of Fame. So defensively, this card is pretty good, but of course, he is a lot of an offensive liability. Post spin technician, eh. Put back boss, eh. Break starters, cool. Lob city finishers, cool. He's a great defensive player, but the offense could be better, of course. Clamps, moving truck, all that stuff. Yeah, it's cool, but the attributes. 96 on defense is great. Three-point shot is a amazing 29. Post hook, post moves, decent. The biggest thing is the defense and the rebounding. 95 block, 93 interior. Great rebounding. Decent speed. Let's buy contracts for everybody. Give everybody new contracts just so the lineup looks a little bit better. Yeah, let's give everybody new contracts real quick while I'm here. What's up Landon Bus? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Jacob, you are pretty late. But you're not too late to drop a like on the stream. We are one like away from 80, so let's get there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's head in and shoot around real quick. I mean, he's not going to be a great card to shoot around with, but why not shoot around with them for a little while? I mean, we still have time. The finals game doesn't start for another 20 plus minutes, so... We'll get a few shots up with Bill Russell. We'll see if we can maybe, maybe hit some mid-ranges. I don't know, but... Look at this. His overall rating is apparently now... Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? There we go, there's Bill Russell. His overall rating is apparently now like a 90, 94 because of our coach. Yeah, look at Bill Russell jump shots. There we go. Okay, he's not gonna be shooting much for me. Like I'm not gonna be shooting this jump shot very often, but I guess it's good that he can at least make this a little bit. His mid range rating is very low. And he's even missing these super easy jumpers, but I guess for anybody who wants to know how he shoots, here's a look at it. He's shooting like 30% on all these shots I'm shooting. He does have a hot zone right here, if anybody cares. I doubt anybody cares, but he does have a hot zone right here 
as he misses a wide open jumper. Two wide open jumpers. Three open jumpers. Oh, gosh. Bill. Now, we're not here to shoot around with Bill, per se. Bill Russell's not really a shooter. So, I'm not really worried about these shots he's missing. The reason why I like Bill is because he's going to be good defensively. But, yeah, this shooting is kind of ugly. I'm not going to lie. That jump shot's kind of ugly. Alexis, you get both of those guys from the auction house. Darren Williams was a snipe. KD, he's just a guy I picked up for the normal price, about 100k. Yeah, a nice drill moves by Bill Russell. The dunk animations aren't insane. Pretty much in shoot around, we've seen everything we can see with Bill Russell. You guys saw the jump shot. It's, yeah, kind of rough. The dunk animations, nothing insane. But of course, this card's real value is on defense. This card's value is on defense, where he has all those Hall of Fame defensive badges, all those gold defensive badges. So this card's real value definitely lies in his defense. What's good, Rico? Welcome to the stream. You're a little bit late, but I'm glad you can make it. Welcome to the stream, Rico. Hope you're doing all right. Make sure to drop a like for me. The stream is going to be coming to an end soon. And we have 81 likes, which is very good. We're going to hit a few more shots and the stream. Because we've seen just about everything we can see with this Bill Russell. Of course, not an amazing shooter, but I knew that. Great defensively, but we can't really defend and shoot around. So that kind of sucks, but... Yeah, we'll have to see how good this card is defensively. Offensively, I mean, you get what you get with Bill Russell, but I think I'll make a video about this Bill Russell. We'll see how good he is on defense online, and yeah. From then on forward, we'll be able to discuss whether this is a dub or an L or N. I don't know, but yeah, I mean, clearly he's not a very good shooter, but we all expected that. We can't be upset about his shooting. Let's throw it down one time. And then we'll end the stream. Four says, hey doc, will you shout out my golden Fred? He's watching too, bro. Shout out to Fred. Shout out Fred. I think that's going to be it for this stream. It was a good one. Very good stream. Gained some subs, had some new viewers in here. Got a lot of likes in less than three hours, so not too bad. Not too bad. To everybody watching the stream, I'll leave the chat open for a little bit after the stream because you guys have been enjoying that lately, so I'll leave the chat open for a little while and yeah, everybody watching, I can't promise I'll be live again tomorrow, but... I will probably post a new video tomorrow for anybody who's interested in that. Make sure your notifications are turned on. Make sure you're ready for that new video so it does very well for the channel. And that's going to do it. Let's go over to rewards. Let's go over to Bill. We're going to end the stream right here. I'm going to pose one more time for you guys. Nah, no need to pose one more time. We're going to end the stream right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun. Alexis, Clippers fan, Rico, the one and only Thor, Jaden, everybody in here. You guys stay safe, stay chill, and I'll be seeing y'all again real soon. Get ready for tomorrow's video. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you don't miss it. It would be awesome if that video does well, just like my Westbrook video. And yeah, let me stop talking. I'm dragging this on way too long. Y'all take it easy.